Ugh. All right. Oh, baby, am I excited to start this game. Ooh, baby. The sequel. The sequel to Ori and the Will of the Wisp. Or uh, Ori and the Blind Forest, I believe is the first one. Hackers disabled your mic. How dare they? No, I was like, when you when you plug a mic into a different uh, <laughs> background. <laughs> yeah. When you plug a mic into a different uh, port, Windows thinks it's a different device. So I just had to go in and set it again. <laughs> Una, you don't like Bless Unleashed? <laughs> I actually like it. I actually have been playing it and I actually really like it. Um, but also I'm getting it I there's gonna be a sponsored stream for that coming up. So get ready for that. But I've actually been putting a lot of time into it. You're right, Hothfire, this is Final Fantasy VII. Oh baby, here come the feelings. I'm so ready for this. I'm so ready. Thank you, uh, Microsoft, for the code. Their early access. You like action MMOs? I kinda do. They're just like comfort food. The PC version broke my MMO heart. Oh, why is that? Um, I thought it wasn't out on PC. I thought it was an Xbox exclusive. Oh, hold on. anyway, I'm missing. Damn, this this title screen is it's pretty goddamn beautiful. Uh, what was the background on your dashboard? Um, it's, uh, it's, it's Kingdom Hearts cosplayers. I set that when, uh, it's, is there a way to just see it? I don't know. I set that when Kingdom Hearts 3 came out and I haven't changed it since, so. Yeah, I guess to count that, um, that lava level lays everyone low. So don't feel bad about that. Leaderboards? Oh, geez. The game has leaderboards? Achievables! I'm gonna be a pro gamer and get the achievement to finish the game in like four hours. I never got that in the first Ori. That was actually... That achievement is the one that made me not want to get all the achievements in it. Um, uh, Hugh Halo Laugh... Or, Hugh Ho... Hugh Ho Laughs. Thank you for the Prime sub. That's like me with Kodor backgrounds. Oh. Yeah, you know, actually... So, my gamer score is actually from... That's, like, I used to play more games on Xbox. I actually haven't been playing on Xbox, like, pretty much ever since the start of the Xbox One generation, so... That could be even higher, but uh, I just haven't been playing on Xbox, really. Okay. Here's... Here's a little conundrum I have. I like playing games on hard, but I'm probably gonna make a review for this game. So should I play it on easy so that I'm more able to tell people what its actual difficulty is? Because if I play it on hard, then I won't be able, like, I won't know. I should probably play it on normal, right? Yeah, I should probably play it on normal. Eh. Only goes up to hard, yeah. Yeah, I should play it on normal. I can always play it again if I really like it, right? I feel, I feel, hmm. You don't want to be a Kotaku reviewer? <laughs> I mean, play on easy and not be able to make the first jump. Hard is the new normal. So Mythic Dragon, it, it actually used to be. Um, during the whole like 360 PS3 generation, or Gen 7, hard was kind of the new normal. Ah, uh, they don't let you just jump off. But uh, games got hard again. So, Badgermon, thanks for the Prime sub. Normal for review, hard for personal. I agree with that. That seems like a fair... Fair policy. God damn, this game is beautiful. Ugh, how are games this pretty? Guys, we are blessed. Oh yeah, you can wall jump now? I don't know if that was in Ori 1. I don't think it was. I could be wrong, but... That's kind of new. There was zero text in Ori 1, right? I'm pretty sure. Oh, is that a little siesta? Man. Now oh, there was text in Ori 1? Hmm. Are you tipsy? You're gonna play the Final Fantasy demo and watch the stream? Nice. Minimal text? Okay. I thought it was purely, like, purely through 
emotes and sounds and stuff. What is this font? Well, if it's Microsoft, it's Calibri. It's not Calibri, but it kind of looks like it. Just when you hit a story beat or get into a new area. Okay. Oh! It's Baby Owl! I would throw myself in front of a bus to protect this owl. Aw, they have a little, little family. I swear, 2020 is the year of cute babies. Aw, oh, for steps. Little baby owl steps. Damn it, something bad's gonna happen. Something fucking bad is gonna happen, and I'm gonna be sad. God damn it. Oh, look at him all snuggly. Yeah, that is a cute hoot. Aw, teeny cute hoot. Oh yeah, they have a little dream catcher. I wonder if you only play Zarya again, maybe Owl Moments? Who knows? I actually know very little about this game. This is one of those games that I kind of intentionally blacked myself out on, so I can just come into it completely blind. So I'm really excited to get started. God. The environmental audio is already really ridiculous. Hmm. Oh, first flight. The owl's gonna catch Corona. And that just means the owl will be fine, right? The owl will be sick for a couple of weeks and then be fine. I'm sure. And the owl will quarantine itself and not give Corona to anybody else. It'll be fine. Everything will be fine. Nothing bad is gonna happen. I remember the little spider orb dude from the first game. Yeah, I love how wholesome Ori 1 was. Even the bad guy was doing the right thing. Oh, the bad guy was the owl's mom, right? Spoilers, I guess? Probably shouldn't have said that. There's no taxes in this universe? Yeah, sorry, network. That's... Thinking back on it, it's not technically a spoiler? That's vague enough? Okay. Aw. Because you got that shitty wing. You got a shitty little wing, don't you? Got a poopy little wing. Yeah, the, the backgrounds are ridiculous, and the way they're, like, blending between, uh, seasons is fucking gorgeous. Uh, yeah, it's on Game Pass. This is a Microsoft Game Studios game, so you can, you can get it on Game Pass. Why don't, why don't you guys have Game Pass? Microsoft is not sponsoring me, aside from the free game they gave me. But still, Game Pass is absurd. That's what I get for not finishing the first. You should get back in there, man. I'm sure it's on Game Pass, too. What, are you playing Yakuza 0? Yeah. Game Pass has Microsoft games and Yakuza. It's a scam. They're selling your usage data. How is that a scam? I mean, I guess, sure. You can only say that, EOD, if you don't use Facebook or Gmail or any service on the internet. Or a cell phone, or a TV made in China. Until they start increasing prices in a few years. Well, when it does, then you can just drop out. Also, yeah, if you're on Xbox Live, they're already selling your usage data. That's the whole point. 
Or Twitch. No. Do you use Amazon Prime? Gmail doesn't reveal how much of a clutch gamer I am. That's fair. That's fair. I understand wanting to protect your 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 gamer moments. Those, those are the only thing you got left. EOD. No, I I don't fault you for drawing a line there because I take umbrage with Google Stadia for that because I feel pretty sternly that they're only making that service so they can siphon, they can get a whole new uh, resolution on user data. Oh, gotta have hot jump, hot jumps. Who's talking right now? How would you describe the Yakuza series to someone who's never seen any gameplay but is kind of interested in it? Um, it's a really weird and funny open world beat em up, I guess is how I describe it. Ah, am I gonna get a little toy for Owl? Yeah! Huh. It's kind of like uh, the uh, the leaf in Wind Waker. Yuck is hilarious. It's serious, but not. Yeah, it 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 is that perfect, like somehow innately Japanese sense of humor where it 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 is self serious to a fault, but in that it finds uh, comedy. Ash! Ash smash him. Thank you so much for the, the cheer. Did you check out the G. Jones track from yesterday? Not yet. I, uh, I have it written down. Over, oh, it's just replenished all their eggs by playing this Final Fantasy demo. Did you, did you feed off of Jesse's raw, like, mind out of the earth thirst for Cloud? The 7 demo was really sick. Yeah, I I will get to it, Ka. I, I I promise. It's just, believe it or not, all of my minutes since then have been consumed with something that needed to be done. Four hundred sixteen Game Pass games. Just need four more. Well, Ori's gonna make. Oh my God! Yeah, Doctor. I guess you were right. You can. Uh, you 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 pair up with your your uh, animal pals. I guess. Look at me go! Yay! Why don't I have a friend that lets me ride around on their back? <laughs> yeah, Dark Glory. I'm getting some feels. How are the controls for Ori? Seems like this character is nimble and graceful. Yeah. Uh. It does feel like there's maybe... I wouldn't say that it's like, it's like, uh, you know, the end is nigh or Super Meat Boy tight. Like, it does feel like there's like a maybe three or four frames of delay when you hit an input to where people start moving. So it's not just like razor precise, but I, the animation makes it feel very flowy when you're moving around. That also might be owing to my, uh, my particular set up too. I have uh, I have a console going into capture hardware and then I'm using the the monitor to play off of. Hmm. So free. Yeah, nothing bad is going to happen at all. Hooray! <laughs> this is some pretty sick camera work. I don't think there was anything like this in the first game. It was all kind of like side scrolly, right? Yeah. The colors are so soft. Ugh. It's almost like watercolor. Color palette is too good. It's 
like sunset in Florida. Hmm. Where do you plug your headphones in? How big is your monitor? Those are, I'm not sure how to answer those questions. Uh, headphones are plugged into my computer. My monitor is it's big enough, I guess. I don't remember. No, you've gone too far. No. The messaging that his mom via the feather feather from her gave him the ability to fly is a good metaphor. That you may be born Oh no! <laughs> you may be born incomplete, but your parents will sacrifice to give you what you need. Okay. Well, at least, at least the the owl didn't get cancer. That was that was sad, but. It didn't kick me in the dick quite the way the the intro to the original Ori did, which is fine. I don't know that I necessarily needed that emotional punch right now. I'm sure the game will eventually get there. Holy crap, this game's gorgeous! It's almost got that like multiplayer animation that uh, a lot of Disney films used. The the like depth of field focus. Man, it's so good. <laughs> Save that cute baby all now. I will. All right, game begin. And if I know my Metroids, you're supposed to go left. Is that a bad scorch? Seems like a bad scorch. Swing? Ah. No? You just hang? Eh. Ah. Tricked me. Kind of reminds me of Rayman? Yeah, I can see that. Or he reminds me a lot of Stitch. I can see that too, yeah. Tiny Viking, thank you, for, thank you for gifting subs. Pretty unfamiliar with Ori mechanics. Can you jump on people like a certain Italian? No, you can't. That will hurt you. You, um... D you eventually have an attack, but I don't have any yet, so... I've got that, that familiar Metroid power wipe, I guess. How much of Ori have I missed? Very little. Um, just the prologue. Which really just established the kind of cast of characters. Hey! Don't scorch at me. I guess I need some kind of ability. Oh, wait. Was this... Yeah, this is the game where you can like bounce off of bullets if you have the right ability. Or that was Ori 1, so... I'm sure that that's what I need to get past that. I got my heart container, I'm good. Need to sleep now? Your voice in Ori Music make the perfect ambiance. Take care, everyone. Alright, world premiere. It's good to see you again, by the way. Uh, hopefully you sleep well. How did you gift three at a time? I thought it was one. Uh, you, you can gift multiple at a time. You can do like a hundred if you want. I think you can actually manually type in an amount if you want to go... If you want to go hog wild with it. I've seen people with very deep pockets on Twitch, buy a lot of subs for a lot of people. Okay. Light is the uh, currency. Alright. What's up, Vivica? Welcome back. Hey, 
Man. I love how they have, like... They have foreground rain that's out of focus. They have in-focus rain on Ori's plane. And then they have background rain that's also out of focus. All those layers give it such a cool look, but somehow don't obscure what you need to see. Ah. Also this, like, really lonesome bassoon music. Nothing says loneliness more than, like, one solitary woodwind. This game does look beautiful. It's also got that, like, screen shake every time there's lightning. I am I am utterly fascinated. Yeah, design is really what it comes down to. Also, you ha like, it's all blue colors. There's, there's some splashes of, like, orange on the highlights, but somehow they have a blue character on a blue background, and you can still tell where he is and, and what you're doing. Um... And there's so much motion, but you still know who Ori is and where he is and what he's doing through, like, the use of shapes and, and contrast, because he's just so much brighter than everything else. And he's got a glowing orb, too, which kind of helps. A low piano in one string is how you get sad. Yeah. <laughs> More dark and brooding. I, uh... I'm always fascinated by platformers and the ways that they make sure that you can visually track the character you're controlling. It's usually through a really smart use of contrast and, uh... Shapes. Uh, shape contrast. Ah, oh, damn. Sorry, guys. I'm just taking it in. Oh, also. Oh, yeah. I just got the Amber Alert, too. Look at that. We're gonna stop him. <laughs> See that? Did you hear it? Or are you in L.A.? Um... Please take your time. I love watching this. Yeah, I, I absolutely will. Also, there is an embargo. Um, I'm only allowed to play up to a certain point, or stream up to a certain point, and then the game comes out on Monday. So I guess I have the weekend to grind through the game and uh, try and get a review posted. Huh. This seems habitated. Also, the, the audio scape changes when you come into this cave area. Because you can still hear the rain outside, but it's muffled. Now it's like, ah, that's so cool. How long can you stream the game? Um, I can stream it as long as I want. I'm only allowed to get to a certain point in the pro in the game's progress, so. Any words on which platforms it's available on? Uh, it, is an, it is a Microsoft Studios game, so PC and Xbox. And you can, it will be available with Game Pass. On PC and, and Xbox, I'm pretty sure. No! No, my friends, come back. We are more alike. Ooh. Oh! Oh, okay. Now I have a weapon. Cool. Maybe it's because I just woke up, but the music is making me sleepy. A little bit, yeah. It's it's relaxing. It's a little somber though. Oh boy. And like now they've added you got the orange and blue contrast on the main character, but still like both super uh not saturated, um what's the word? Or, like it's brightness, but there's a cooler word for it. Hue. I can't remember my Photoshop terminology. Battlefield Ori, yeah. <laughs> uh, 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 Ori. Uh, 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 Ori. So this is interesting. I actually... So I played this game... Oh, it was like fire status effect. It's doing damage over time. Uh, luminance? Vibrance? Yeah, I think it might be Vibrance. Alright, thank you. Or luminance could be both. I don't. I actually don't remember. <laughs> um, so I played this last night at an Ori preview or an Ori like launch event, and I played it on hard because of course I did. And I'm actually kind of impressed because the little the little gamer crawly blob boys, they actually shoot spikes at you on hard. They don't do anything on uh, on normal. They just sit there. So that's kind of neat. I always like it when difficulty is more than just. You take more damage and... Oh, sorry. You take less damage and the enemies take more. It's, uh, it's nice when it actually functionally changes some of the mechanics of the gameplay. Oh, who's that? Hello, friend. Hello there, Birdman. How are you? Sam. Onogmira. Yotona news. 
Narakutin, Jinshelo, Tush, Atan. Oh, he gets never. Hmm. Look how the light is flickering ac across his feathers and stuff. It's just such small stuff that, like, more horsepower can actually enable in games like this. God, it makes it look so much better. All the little, like, embers coming off the torch. There's, like, fireflies in the foreground. Man. Find the keystone. Hit the two box button to see your quest. Alrighty. That jump arc is way more generous than you might assume it would be. <laughs> the power of Stadia. I mean, yeah, sure. That, uh, not as, not as facetious as you may have intended that comment. I think, uh, I mean, I guess Microsoft's dick is firmly in my mouth at this moment, but, uh, Flight Simulator is going to be the first, like, Power of Stadia, really Power of Stadia game. I guess it was supposed to be Crackdown 3, but they just couldn't get it working for whatever reason. Um, did you try Stadia at all? No. I've done other streaming platforms, and I, I feel like I know what to expect. And, like... I'm not that interested if the best case scenario is, it works. Because guess what? I already have something that works. So, there's there's nothing about that that is appealing to me. About using a service that's just as good as something I already have. Is there a code or link to join your or rejoin Xbox Pass that might benefit you? No, not really. Uh, I guess, I guess I can point to you um, and say, look, it's good that you gave me a code. But, uh, no, it's fine. This is- this is not a- a promoted thing. Otherwise, it might have a problem with ethics. Actually, no, I wouldn't if I disclosed it properly. Oh! I didn't get Gravel Gorb. Not today, Gravel Gorb! Go! Oh. Yeah, that did, on hard, just touching him did two, two pips of damage. So, I, I already want to play this on hard, but I will play it on normal. I gotta finish it to review it, right? So, I will get over my, myself. Ooh. We've got, a uh, Donkey Kong Country tropical freeze mechanics now. Crawling on surfaces. You're gonna use one that's rays, it's in his channel bio? Oh, I didn't know he had one. I didn't know that existed. Yeah, I guess you might as well might as well give Ray credit for it. Fuck it. Yeah. Pretty much any of these scenes would be great as a wallpaper. Jacko, thank you for the cheer, man. What's up, loot box? Can't climb up sloped walls in a blind forest? Well luckily we're not in a blind forest anymore. The will of the wisps have empowered me to climb wherever I, I wherever I want, like over here to get this keystone. Sometimes you got to put your cockiness on the table and stay humble. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Maybe, maybe it's possible to play a game for fun without having to constantly satisfy my ego. Perhaps that's possible. Uh, Matt Bogenberger, thank you for gifting a sub. Just thought to ask since January and February are tax and some such. Hard months. March, finally, when I can spend more freely. Alright, right on, man. Well, I appreciate the ask. Uh, by the scene, Sand, this is not out already. I have early access, so. You gotta be uh, a video game celebrity like me. Ow. Oh, I'm getting goosed. Don't ban. Oh my god, look at all these people spamming all these spam messages. Better start banning everybody. There's a ban. There's a ban. There's a ban. There's a ban. Hey, everybody. Hey, everyone from Bruce's stream. Welcome. We're playing some art game. Uh, there's a little lesbian animal, and he's got to go find his lesbian lover, but I don't know. The 
Forrest doesn't want him to because they're bigots or something. Oh. Also, it's about Iraq. Oh. I don't know. Oh, me, Iraq. Oh, no. We got some art here, guys. I'm going to run on platforms and grab some glowing orbs. And it's about cancerous lesbians. Not that lesbianism is cancerous, but that lesbians have cancer. I need to need to make sure. Is Ori worth getting? I mean, uh, I just started it, so I can't say. Is that really the story? No, of course not. <laughs> the Will of the Wisps is that everyone turns gay, though. The Wisps are very gay, and they're going to make everyone else extremely gay. Is Ellen Page in this? Ellen Page is actually every character. You know how that one dude was like the dog in Call of the Wild? Um, that's Ellen Page, but everyone else in this game. She actually motion captured all of the uh, the enemies and, and characters and stuff. Pretty cool. Contrast with Bruce Tone and Law Dog Tone is amazing. Why? What was, what was Bruce even playing? I, uh, I unfortunately didn't get a chance to see. Oh yeah, he was doing Ocarina of Time, right? I, uh, I refuse to believe for one second that Bruce wasn't spending the entire time talking about how gay Link is. Exceedingly gay. Oh, he's at the Water Temple? Nice. 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 Get those, get those iron boots. Gotta raise and lower that water level. Bruce is getting wrecked. Yeah. Because the Water Temple, like... I imagine that's bad because it's just long strings of, of exploration without a save point or a checkpoint. So you can just you can just kill the poor guy and then he's got to start over from the beginning of the dungeon and it takes a long time to get back to where he was. So Yeah, it's famous streamer Bruce Green. It's me, everybody. Oh no! That's a cabal corb. This is like the uh, conservative dad who doesn't want you to be gay. You can't stop me, dad. I'm gonna be gay. Ow! I'm gonna be gay, and I'm gonna play indie games, and you can't stop me! I'm gonna get the orbs! Each orb makes me gay! Oh. Another dick bird. Hey! Ow. Uh. Ow. <laughs> yeah. On hard, this dude does two pips of damage every time he touches you. So, I'd be super dead by now. I'm probably gonna die anyway, actually, because I'm not standing in the right spot. Why did- Well, I died, alright. Heterosexuality wins again. Link is turbo hetero, what are you talking about? Some- some Links are Chads. Ocarina of Time Link is n probably not the chattiest Chad. Skyward Sword Link is pretty Chad, Chad-like. Breath of the Wild Link is pretty Chad. So wait a minute. Ow! God! So, where do we need to stand? Okay, that's pretty good. Hey! I feel like I keep getting turned around. Oh, wow. You have to actually hit him in the head. If I'm just swatting on the ground, I'm not actually hitting anything. Alright. I think I got it. Oh! What's funny is since... So... Since I'm actually playing this on my desktop, I get, uh... I get... <laughs> I get the, uh, the notification in two places, so... It's perfect. It's perfect. Uh, oh, Hannah, thank you for gifting out, uh, gifting out subs. Wind Waker Link is gay? Oh, yeah, Wind Waker Link is super gay. But Wind Waker Link is awesome. Also a, ch a child? But that's okay. I guess all links are... No? Some links are more childish than others, I don't think about it. Oh. What the Woda? You heading out? Alright. Have a good night, man. Thank you for stopping by. Which link is the alpha gay? Hmm. I'm gonna say Link's Awakening Link. His dreams were so powerful they created a whole reality. 
Breath of the Wild Link is so gay and hot. Yeah, mm, you know what? I'm gonna agree with that. I'm gonna agree with that. Yeah, he awakened. My cat fell asleep and nearly slid off my lap. Ah! That's awesome when you can watch that happening in slow motion. Oh. The magical tree. This is symbolic of going to the nightclub for the first time. I should stop. I'm gonna drop that. It's funny. It's fun. But it's not funny. <laughs> the tree of lesbians. All right, chat, you guys run with it, but I'll, I'll drop off. What happened? Uh-oh. <laughs> and thus, the tale of Ori was over. Credits. Ah, cool beans, thanks for gifting us up. I don't remember there being this much, like, narration in Ori 1. But I could be wrong. I got distracted by Minecraft, but this game is fucking stunning. It really is. And there's an easy mode, too. I know that a lot of people got really... got really kind of hung up on how difficult Ori 1 became. But, uh... Hopefully everyone on easy mode can be able to play through this game. I want one. I want us to be best friends. Isn't this the end of the streamable bit? No, not yet. You can, let's see here. You can stream through the end of, sorry, I'm trying to, the end of act one. They say two to four hours to complete. And I'm taking my time. Okay. I got a slashy slash. Huh. Huh. I'm gonna attack up and down now. It almost feels like the nail from Hollow Knight. A little bit. I wonder if you can bounce on stuff. Because you do, you kind of, you kind of bounce up when you do the down attack, but then you go down. That's an interesting mechanic. Huh, interesting. <sighs> Finished Blind Forest a few weeks ago. Didn't realize Will of the Wisps would be out this soon. Yeah, it's out next week. Oh, okay, now they're shooting. All right. That wasn't just a hard mechanic thing, though. I take it back. I guess they wait until you get a weapon to start unloading on you. Fair. Ow. Are his Dark Souls confirmed? Ugh. And I'm God damn it. There's gonna be some game there's gonna be some review that makes that comparison. Aren't we we're kinda done with that though, right? Let's see Lardy Dark Souls? I probably will, Nikki. Actually, they have a so they have Dark Souls crowd control. That actually sounds like a lot of fun. Um and then I get to like Oh yeah, Bloodborne. I've, all, I've I've been looking forward to playing again, but I think I might run out of time. But I probably I'm gonna set up Crowd Control Dark Souls pretty soon. Maybe next week. Maybe. Got to do another sellout stream, but there should be time. And you guys can can burn your wallets, throw your wallets into the fire, trying to kill me, and you won't be able to. Guess what? You won't be able to. Save up your pennies now, ye pores. Because the quintessential gamer is here to drain your bank account. Quick control Dark Souls would be amazing. Yeah. Oh no, I just had a thought. Crowd console crowd control Dark Souls drinking game. Maybe not like straight booze shots, but something. By God, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I I will literally be cashing a check with my liver. Yeah, everybody wins. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> they missed the drunk episodes? Oh, well. Um, 
That so that's kind of an impromptu thing, but we are going to be doing a uh, say we again. Hints, uh, we will be doing a drunk eternal, Doom Eternal drunk game on March 28th. So hopefully, uh, I'm trying to spread the word as much as possible, get everybody excited about that. I'm very much looking forward to it. You need costumes? Oh, we're ahead of you. We're ahead of you on that one, Honored Samurai. Don't worry. Yes, March 20th, mark your calendars. Yeah. Ow! Any stream can be a drinking stream if you believe. Yeah. I still, I'm transfixed by that that uh, thing that Jeremy did a while ago, where he had that like giant mixing bowl of like single shot bottles and would just rummage around and pull out one. Doing it with one house or on your own? It's on my own, Nick. I am an independent free agent now, so. Uh, but you know, I I produced all the fun house drinking games, so that is uh. If if you liked that, it's basically going to be exactly that, with just some different people. Drinking stream. Ah, yeah, there's a drinking stream here on YouTube. It'll be here and some other places. But yes, it'll be on Twitch. Uh, but other details will. Full details will be announced shortly as we're still kind of sorting them out. Yeah, I can go off the rails. Oh god. Yeah. If, I'm gonna. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be damaging myself here pretty intensely, but. A few shots in. Who knows how honest I'll get? Who knows? They're doing a drink stream as well? Yeah. Uh, that makes sense. I mean, it's it's a pretty obvious um, idea. Uh, you need to make it interactive with your audience. Yep, way ahead of you on that one, Honored Samurai, as well. Um, mostly what we're waiting for to really finalize all the rules and stuff is to get hands on the game. We should be getting... Yeah, no, it, we'll have, like, bits, uh, bit activities and stuff like that. Sculler, I'm not going to say who's joining yet. I'm not going to say who's joining yet. You got to wait. You got to wait. You got to wait to find out. Apology cam might get some usage with the drunk stream. What do you mean? What do you mean, this? What would I possibly have to apologize for if I'm three shots in, getting loose? I'm getting loose and getting honest about things that may have happened. I'm waiting for the Pornhub collab? Man, me neither. Oh, thank you, Ultra Mag. This game is pretty dope. Could be anybody. Yeah, exactly. I guess you guys have no idea. It could be anybody. Anybody in the world. Keanu Reeves? I didn't say that. Who said that? Not me. Could have been anybody. Hmm. <laughs> uh, let's see. I've got to find Qualoc. Qualoc. Oh, right. Can't wait to see you play Doom. I can't wait to play Doom! Man, I'm excited! Also, I, uh, I finally saw a difficulty select and the game will have Ultra Nightmare, so... Yeah, I'm gonna be doing that for like a month. I'm excited. Hopefully that'll make me Ace Pro at it and then I can just play multiplayer all the time. Interesting. There's like a launch attack. I wonder if you can do air combos and stuff. And I guess you eventually get other attacks that you can bind to different buttons, so that'd be neat. Want to be a lot longer than 2016? Yes. Uh, 2016 was like 8 hours long. They've been saying that Eternal is like 25 to 30 hours long. So that's going to be... That could go one of two ways. It could either be really, really horrible, or with the extra lives mechanic they have in Doom, you can actually pick up like 1-ups and you have a life counter. And when you die, you revive with one of your lives. So, it's possible that even though the game is longer, with the life mechanic, that balances it out to make it not as ridiculous. I'm gonna get into Doom MP? Yeah, probably. <clears throat> Has anyone ever done an Edward Forty Hands Donkey Kong Bongo stream? That's a great idea, but wouldn't you just spill malt liquor all over yourself? Uh, I feel like you would. You'd just be bongoing and just splashing shitty, sticky malt liquor everywhere. Ow. Damn. Damn. 
These guys are rough. They were said it to go well? Yeah. I guess if you put a tarp everywhere, you can probably do it. I feel like you'd end up spilling more than you'd, you'd be drinking. Which might be the point. <laughs> Crap. I can't tell if I'm meant to make this jump or not. <laughs> Maybe not. That kind of feels like something I might need double jump for. <laughs> He's saying that like it's a bad thing. That would be Twitch Gold, you're right. Let's go somewhere else. Hey, what's up, Brecky? Doesn't matter how challenging a stream is, it's how drunk you get. Good point. What you're telling me is that my tier one sub is going towards booze? I actually... That's actually literally true, yes. The revenue I get from Twitch is going directly towards buying... buying alcohol, so. Oh! Okay, perfect. How opportunely timed! Oh, it's the homosexual crystal of lesboniums. Oh, wait, what? Oh, oh, oh! Wow, this is like Hollow Knight. So this is like the badge system. Oh, oh there's a lot of stuff. Oh, that's a lot of stuff. Look at all this stuff. Kevin, <laughs> thank you for the resub. Didn't realize this would be going to such a good cause. Yep. Uh, uh, is Ori LGBT? Yes. Every indie game is. Actually, this is an indie. It's published by Microsoft. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh. Uh. You guys... Oh. Uh-oh. Okay, that's kind of cool. Oh, you can... Oh, wow. That makes that way easier. You can climb? Damn. Plus, it's present. Lead to go to the store. Bruce and Miss Green, come back in Lawrence. How's it going? Uh, going really well. Yeah, Metallica, uh, Bruce, Bruce raided me, so. Uh, Turbo, thank you for the Prime sub. You remember the true meaning of Undertale? What is that? Is, is it we're all gay? God, this background is ridiculous! There's like light in multiple layers and like moving smoke and uh. Uh, uh. Nah, sucking dick. All right, that explains. That explains a lot. That's why you can talk to monsters. We all know what talking means. Okay. Yeah, the smoke effects in the background are just really, really amazing. They're so soft too. I feel like. Uh, I don't know that, like, my monitor has the bit depth of an... Like, a UHD display would look really, really incredible with this. Sadly, I got my monitor slightly before that tech was commonplace. I was more about the, um... It's more about that G-Sync, baby, that 144 hertz! Uh... What is that orb? What is this? Why is there something sparkling there? I'm gonna go find it. 100%, here we go. Oh. Alright. You already have uh, double jump and wall grab? Yeah, John, they give them to you really early in this game. Uh, which is kind of nice. Like, why... Why, uh, why tease out some of the more fundamental upgrades, I feel like? Which makes me wonder... Be serious with me? Is Ori LGBTQ? I, I don't think so. I don't, I don't think sexuality enters into this game at all. What was your least favorite part of Hollow Knight pre-double jump? Yeah, there were some upgrades that really made that game work. Um, navigating some of those rooms without double jump just took so long. And especially if you didn't know where you were going, which... How could you at the beginning of the game? Um, I just spent so much time moving through these big areas. Will the next NVIDIA cards be able to do 100 FPS at 4K? I mean, cards can do that now if you're running Minecraft. It just depends what game it is. Um, maybe? I don't, I don't feel like that's out of the realm of possibility. Maybe not with ray tracing on, but... Nah. 
How'd they make baby owl? Someone fucked that bird. I guess you can't argue with that, yeah. Oh, for big triple A's? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe. What what kind of complicates that is um, if, if if new consoles weren't about to come out, I would say yes, definitely. But with new consoles pushing higher spec, there's going to be more more pretty things going on in games. I don't know. Probably. Ah, I'm gonna say yes. I'm gonna say yes. There we go. I did it. People dug on Minecraft, but it really is a resource-hungry game. It, you know, you're right, it is. Um, but I'm, gonna, I'm laying that mostly at the feet of Java. The fact that the game is coded by an amateur. Um, they have... The Windows 10 version is probably a little, a little less intensive, but it also is not mod-friendly. Java is a horrifically inefficient uh, coding language. Used by people who don't know how to resource or manage resources, manage memory. Yeah, ray tracing is also still resource intensive, and it's not even like it's not even full ray tracing. It's like ray tracing mi mixed with pre-baked lighting. So I still don't think games can be fully 100% ray traced. It's still just not not a thing. But that's how computer graphics work, you know. You cobble together a bunch of things that, each of which adds a layer of realism and, and uh, graphical fidelity to the image. Let's see. Damn. <laughs> Tell me more about how awful Java is. Ugh. I had to code in Java once, and I hated it. Luckily, our assignment was to trick Java into doing something it wasn't meant to do. We had to make a linked list in Java. Which is something that, like... Java intentionally doesn't want you to be able to use pointers. Because it's a baby's language for babies. Um, so... Java's fine? No, it is not. That's... I don't know. I have I have my, uh, my poisonous, vitriolic attitude towards Java. Java's like, it's the programming equivalent of giving somebody a coloring book and a, a pack of crayons. And not even like good crayons, they're like the really waxy, like, uh, what is it, rose art crayons? Yeah. It's hard to write most of the time, so uh, the software does it for you. Yeah. Oh, Serafina, you have, you have experience with Java? Good. Good. It's not just me then. Oh, there's a linked list class now? Okay. Yeah, to be fair, my, my actual coding experience with Java is pretty old um, at this point. Ooh, a secret area. People always say Java is good for what it's intended to do, but it'll always be a semi-walled garden in Windows. Yeah, I mean, that's the idea. But uh, as usual, like, there's, there's kind of an inescapable trade-off between um, control and efficiency. If you want to do everything for somebody, it's going to take longer. If you trust them to be smart and do it the right way, they can do it faster. But often they don't do it the right way. So that's therein lies the problem. Java hasn't changed much? I didn't think so, yeah. Java still sucks nuts. Good. Ow! There we go. Just got to get the, the angle of the dangle right. Oh! He gas popped on me. Hang it forward from Bruce's kisses. Well, thank you. Hey, I gotta hit that messaging more. Damn. Bruce has, like, people gifting thousands of subs in his chat. Pay it forward, everybody! <laughs> Let's see if it'll work. Go back to C sharp. Yeah. Could be an alpha nerd. Ow! Damn it. Down a little bit. There we go. Alright. Alright. Gaseous man. Oh! Crap! Well, that's interesting. You kinda hang in the air a little bit when you hit something. A little hit stun effect. What? Ooh. Cool. Tesseract, thank you for the prime sub. 
Today was nuts. I think there were over 400 gifts sub. God, how does Bruce get those people? Jeez, you wasted all our money on him. Or not wasting, sorry. Uh, Jay Spike, how do I get it early? I'm a premier games journalist, that's why. Oh, it's working! It's working! Tiny Viking, thank you. Samwise, thank you for gifting subs, man. See? That's, all you gotta do is tell people to give you money and they do it! Yeah, pay for it, everybody! Pay for it, pay for it, pay for it, pay for it! Nasit, thank you for gifting a sub. Damn it! I spent all this time not telling people to give me money. Oh! I even got a, a little cabbage container? Nice. I'm doing it! I'm doing it! I'm being Twitch rich! Yeah, I gotta get that quiche, man. Pay it forward! <laughs> Give me money! It's working! Tesseract, thank you! <laughs> you guys are making me feel guilty. Wait, no! No, I'm not! No! I love it! Oh, Nikki, thank you for gifting a sub. That's your first time, too! You did it! You made me rich! This is going right into my booze fund. Alright, so should be game it forward? You're right. Game on, gamers! That'll be what I say. That's my code. That's my code for you guys giving me money. Game on, gamers! Cool beans, thank you for gifting a sub. See, it's working, it's working! I'm, un I'm unlocking the secret to Twitch! I'm the first person to figure this out! Well, apart from Bruce. You very definitely figured it out. You need JD Fire or Fireball for Doomstream? Ugh, God. Fireball's so sugary, though. <laughs> Money's only limited if you believe it is? Yeah. Money's not real, so why not spend it all on me? Cool beans, thank you for gifting a sub. I'm figuring it out. Turns out it's that easy. Uh, no marketing needed, no clever tricks. Just say, give me money! And I'll do it. Actually, this is, this is actually super well-timed, so... Um, you guys should keep gifting subs and I'll tell you why. Aside from me wanting to be rich, is uh, every Friday I do I do what I'm uh, growing to call media tech, where it's a knockoff of cinema tech. Basically, I have edited and compiled a bunch of clips from like game trailers and gameplay and old commercials and just making a media collage basically of a bunch of old stuff and it just all plays randomly. Uh, but I edit it in such a way that like clips lead into each other. So, Dota, Dota's for squids. Thank you for gifting up 10 subs. Holy crap, that's a lot. Why Why is there no hype? Hold on. Why isn't there a, a hype train happening? I gotta, I gotta change my settings here. I think I put it too restrictive. You guys should be getting those those garbage emotes already. By Brooke Willink. Jesus Christ. Thanks, thanks Twitch.com for loading up hockey at max volume. Um, uh, but, uh, MediaTek is for subs only. Um, for one, because I want to be rich, but for two, because, uh, I technically, it's probably not okay by Twitch's standards to, um, to just air slightly copywritten content like that. So, uh, I keep it subs only so that the wrong person doesn't wonder in and get offended that I'm doing it and then report me. Um, so you guys are all in the club now. I trust you all. As long as you give me money, I trust you. Um, Twitch does have standards, believe it or not, Omi. Um, but yes, real, only real gamers allowed past this point. That is the, that is the, the velvet rope you encounter every Friday on this channel. But yeah, around 8 o'clock, which is to say in about two hours, I'll be starting that. And that's just a bunch of, uh, random clips, and only subs can watch, so... If you're gifting subs, you're letting more people in the Friday night party. Uh, where is that setting? Uh, where... Damn it. Whenever Twitch adds new settings, I swear to God, they make arbitrary decisions about where to put them. Uh, it's not under channel settings. Sorry, this is not- oh, there it is! Okay. Save changes. Okay. That should trigger it now. If you guys, uh, you guys keep unloading sacks of money on my head, I'll get you guys some hot emotes. But I appreciate it, though. As flippant as I'm being, uh, I am, uh, I am very grateful for, for any kind of monetary support of any kind, so thank you so much. I will, I will use that to fuel, uh, 
Uh, I guess, yeah, I'll do, I'll do Dark Souls crowd control. Oh, maybe that, maybe that can be my, uh, one million view spectacular. Sometime next week, a 24 hour crowd control Dark Souls drinking stream. Oh my God. What a, I need to write that down. Dota, thank you for gifting subs. Oh, I just realized maybe I don't see, do I see hype train? Yeah. Pay it forward, everybody. Pay it forward. Pay it forward. If you wanna, if you got a sub, you gotta pay that shit forward or I'll make you feel bad. Um, I won't, but that's the implication, right? Um, yeah, let me, let me, let me jot this down right now. Before I forget, I'll miss it if it's on the weekend. Really? Ah, Nick, what? 24 hours is a lot? Yeah, it's a lot of, dr I don't know that I can drink for, no, I can drink for 24 hours. I don't know that I should though. I'm gonna feel like shit. Oh my god. I don't know that my... Ah, my body can absolutely handle that. Yes, pay it forward or be judged. This is... This is, uh... Pure, pure pressure at its, in its finest. 24 hours is too much? Yeah. Maybe only part of it will be drinking then. Um, how does a view work on Twitch? Did they define that metric somewhere? Yes, they do. They're, a view does definitely count as something. I think it has to be a active tab and it has to be unmuted, I believe. I feel like you do either or, 24 hour or a drinking stream. Hmm. Okay. Cool to get a few bottles of various beers from Lost Abbey for a Doom stream. They have beers named Judgment Day, Ex Cathedra, Number of the Beast, Deliverance. Interesting. Uh, Zen, it's... Unfortunately, it's not just me drinking. Oh, Tiny Viking, thank you for gifting yet more subs. Friday night's getting started right. Pay it forward. Pay it forward. Uh, but thank you. Would you rather your money... Where would you rather your money go? Some mega corporation or elite decker like Lawrence that takes them down? Exactly. Exactly. Thank you. Someone's got to take those corpos down. It's going to be me. Guest count, thank you for gifting a sub. I don't see Ori's Wisp. Must be some story I missed. No, it's it's his it's his will. It's the will of the Wisps. That's what we're finding out right now. And the Wisps want you to be gay. That's what we've discovered, so. They want you to be gay, they want you to gift subs. That's what they told me. Most people knowing, telling you not to abuse your liver for 24 hours straight. This is a good group you've got here. You're right, Worm Slayer. I actually am, am a little bit touched by people's actual concern for my health. I, I figured most people on the internet would just want to see me destroy myself for their amusement, which I am more than willing to do, so... I don't know what to make of this, like, genuine concern for my well-being. <laughs> exactly. Mikoi Kiss Crisps has got it. Be gay! Gift subs! <laughs> If it were 24 hours, I'd have to find, like, I guess I could probably chain drink seltzers like that, but... Even you, you start to feel pretty gross about that. I, like, I can chain drink seltzers for like five hours, but I start to feel icky about right about that. <laughs> it's a self-destruction for us. No one depends on us for their enjoyment. That's a good point, yeah. If I, if I die, who's gonna beat all these video games? You know? <laughs> Nobody. Nobody's gonna do this. I'm a hero. What is that? What are you? Hmm. Should do a stream where you share boozy drink recipes? Not a bad idea. I mean... You even know he's paying it forward? Yeah, you guys are! You! Give your money to me! That's how this works! Um, yeah, actually, that's kind of true. You guys are entertaining me. Um, that's legitimately one of the things I enjoy most about streaming, is that I get to, like, interact with people while I'm playing a video game. I'm usually just so wrapped up in my own head when I'm playing games. It's nice to, to talk to people and just sort of blast ideas out into the universe. <laughs> I am brave, but I'm also generous. I say that about myself a lot. 
Exactly, Honored Samurai. Thank you. I deserve this money! Think about all the games I've beaten. No one's paid me for. That was generosity. And humble, clearly, yeah. I'm trying this, I'm trying this, uh, believing in myself confidence thing. I gotta admit, it's a, it's a weird, it's a weird sensation. A dollar for each gamer score? Oh my god, dude. Hey Michael, thank you for gifting a sub. Stream is so different for that reason. I think the burden of interacting with chat weighs down on some streamers, but you appear to genuinely enjoy it more than most. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Ooh. Oh, that's kind of cool. All right, all right, all right. Wait, what does the plus mean? Does that mean I've leveled it up? I guess so. Huh. Yes. My Twitch mansion isn't going to build itself. Excuse me, my second Twitch mansion. Uh, yeah, I, I think I have... I mean, I've been playing games for so long that most games now don't really take up all of my mental faculties. And they haven't for a while, so I, for a long time, would play games with uh, other things going on in the background. Like watching a show or something like that. Now, interacting with Twitch chat is, is my side thing. Oh. Most streamers suck ass at interactivity. Hmm. I wonder why that is. Oh, I can't can't stick anymore? Or maybe that's just a slick surface? Did I unequip the the sticky thing? Oh I did! Oops. When did I do that? Huh. Because they're narcissists? Do you really think that's what it is? Maybe it is. If you're streaming, drawing, or art, do you have time to interact with stream? Hmm. That's a good point. Maybe not. King Rexus, thank you for the sub. Appreciate you. Oh, there's a there's an orb down there. Don't get you orb. The combo mechanic seems interesting. Like, teensy bits of shades of Devil May Cry there. You can launch them to the air and then combo them. I'm curious if it'll actually, like, build in any way. Most of the time I find artists streaming, they're not really doing art. Really? Are they just kind of hanging out? Dang it, I want that. I want that thing. Son of a bitch. I just thought Ori was a linear platformer. No, it's a, it's a Metroidvania. There's an open world and you get... Ugh. Sorry. Also, it's it's pretty cool how Ori illuminates... Like, he casts light in the world. So he actually illuminates... He illuminates the ground, he illuminates the background. It's a great way to draw your eye to where that character is, in addition to just him having an, an aura of light around him. But the, like, the dynamic lighting on around everything in the environment looks so, so cool. Oh, man. God. Ugh! How are games so pretty? I remember a while ago, like, people would talk about the dim diminishing returns of tech, and to a degree I get it, like, I think it'll, with the exception of games like Control, maybe, uh, the lighting looks like normal maps on textures too, super efficient over meshes, it does seem like it, it doesn't work on everything, like, it doesn't seem to really be applying to this, like, skull thing, um, but the vegetation, it does seem to have more of an actual mapped light, especially on the ground. You can see a lot of the... Yeah, it does seem like a pretty just like super efficient normal map kind of reflection. Um, yeah, I remember everyone... Uh... Yeah, King Rexus. Uh, texture resolution is no match for pure artistic talent. For sure. And I, I remember there was like... We, I was, we were talking with Tim Schafer on the podcast, I think. And I remember him saying... He used a particular phrase that was something like... I, I can't remember exactly how he phrased it, but he was like, starting about 15 years ago, we had all the tools we needed to make good games. And now it's just about how you use the tools to create good stuff. Um, and I, that always kind of stuck with me. Is that, you know, technology is a tool, and once the tool... The tool set a certain um, sophistication. Oh yeah, Ami, you can, you can link your Instagram, that's cool. We're talking about art, right? 
Playing Control PS4 or PS Now download. It's not the best game on the Gen 1 PS4. Yeah, yeah. Um, was it Connor at work was trying to play Control on a base PS4 and he was having a real hard time. Huh, honey. Ah. Yes. I love games that give you maps that show you where shit is, but you still have to go figure out how to get it yourself. Oh my god. Uh, that's just one area. It's weird having the concept of Gen 1 consoles nowadays. Yeah, you're right. PS4 and PS4 Pro, as well as like Xbox One, S, and X, are all considered Gen 8, which is kind of funky. I guess in the past we had like RAM expansion packs, uh, N64 disk drives, like there were gadgets that extended the functionality of consoles, but none that like functionally and, and profoundly increased the performance of them. Oh, hey Steph. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, no. Am I allowed to show that off? I mean, yeah. I mean, it was... It's not like it's a secret. It was from, from E3, the year that we didn't get one. <laughs> uh, Cozy Art is a great artist that engages in stream as well as why it works. Bruce actually rated... Oh, Bruce rated him the other night? Yeah, he, he was talking about that. Oh, my God. Oh. It's not as heavy as I thought it would be. Ooh, baby. This is the big ass V statue. Dating stuff has perks. How you feeling, stuff? Still a little tired? Mm. Okay. Well, I'll take it easy. But yes, this is the. This statue is actually kind of wild. It's like freeze frame of V crashing his motorcycle into some dude and shooting two guns. It's it's a little intense, actually. I thought that like it would be a little uh, maybe a little more. Uh, what's the word? Subtle. That's okay though. Hold on. Let me let me pop this bad boy open. Eh. Is it okay if I open it? You want to open it? No, you can open it. It's okay. Fine. <laughs> Let's be careful. Let's treat it with respect. Dignity. Tap is it over here. There we go. Okay. Hit. Hit. Okay. Hmm. Ah. Ooh, that sound. Tomorrow's your birthday, hee haw. Sing to me. Happy birthday, hee haw. Happy birthday, hee haw. Happy birthday, hee haw, Jones. Happy birthday, hee haw. Yeah, it's an unboxing stream now. I like that the is actually branded Cyberpunk. Is it? Oh my god. It is. Cyberfoam. Styropunk. It works both ways, really. I mean, I see a style of punk. That sounds kind of cool. That actually does sound cool. Oh, it's in pieces. Okay. Ooh, it's shiny. Oh. There's our mans. Maybe. Well, let me put together this this stuff later. Oh, okay. I just don't want anything broken. Yeah, no worries. He's very <laughs> angry at you. Oh, weird smell in there. This jacket, it's like. Oh, it's like actually squishy. Yeah, you can Ooh. touch the bottom of it. Ooh, look at him go. That's what happens there. when you have cyber jets installed in your heels? Yeah, it's so ridiculous. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, good things together. Awesome. Oh, Tonyverse, thanks for the resub. Unboxing ASMR. Is that a thing? Like people using super specific microphones to capture like 
the noise tape coming off yeah and probably There's cardboard probably tabs sliding out who just immediately gets a chubby just like hearing that oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. probably oh <clears throat> i mean that like when you peel like um, that plastic layer off of uh, like fabricated parts and stuff, that feels really good. Mm. Ooh, Jack Henry! Thank you for gifting out ten subs. Holy crap! Oh, is it, are we high training again? It doesn't show up in the in the dashboard, unfortunately. Um, you're you uh, yeah, game on, gamers. Game it forward, gamers. Um, you chose a good time, Jack Henry, to be to be. Uh, Generous because MediaTek's coming up, and that is sub only. Oh, there is a good, the relaxing end does ASMR unboxings. That's actually a really good name for it. Uh, can we get a stream where Lawrence plays with action figures like a kid? That's not a bad idea. Can I sit with Steph and have a drink with her? I'm gonna say yes on her behalf. Um, you gotta find her first, though. I'm so lucky that I get to hang out with Steph all the time, and everyone else just has to be jealous. <laughs> Are we not seeing the statue? No. We're not. I'm teasing you guys. Maybe later. Just want to share music and booze? Stuff's very good at both of those things. No. Huh? What's up? Oh. Oh, okay. Day sex one? Yeah, what's the deal with Deus Ex 3? What is that happening? Is that happening? They didn't really announce it or anything. Play Black Mesa, and if so, would you recommend? I haven't yet, actually. Oh, you, I'm sure you can bounce off these things. No, I have, uh, I've been slowly chipping away at Half-Life Source again. And once I played through that, I was probably going to go through and play Black Mesa. Um, everyone has good things to say about it, though. So, I feel comfortable recommending it, even though I haven't played it. Uh, Zyfrak, thank you for the Prime stuff. Also, what have you got to lose? It's more Half-Life. Oh, pfft, who needs that? Hopefully, Day 6-3 is more like the first than the second. Yeah! Mankind Divided was good, but it just felt like two-thirds of a game. Which is unfortunate, because I, I was digging it, but it did seem like they were trying to squeeze a lot of blood from stone by the end of it. Is anyone looking forward to the TurboGrafx-16 PC Engine mini console? I've been meaning to play the original for ages, so they are coming release? No, I, I didn't even know that they were making that. It makes sense, though, given how much people love buying tiny versions of consoles. What's on it? Uh, not that I even know that many PC Engine games. Oh yeah, the arch the P uh, the OST for this game. This music is so like pastoral already. I don't know. I'm already kind of in love with this game. Uh, where am I going? Let's see if I can go up. Doesn't seem like it. Got some harps. We got harps now. I guess I should go to the right. Hyper uwu. Does this remind me of the Gree OST a little bit. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Dante Paget. I did see the, uh, yeah, the Nintendo PlayStation sold for, what, 300 grand? Yeah. Which, apparently, it was speculated to be valued at, like, 1.2 million or something? The Xbox 360 Classic. Hopefully, so they already made the Xbox One S all digital. I still feel like it's not worth the money, so Microsoft shouldn't do it. They shouldn't. I would like them to make an Xbox One S where they like... So, you, you know, we took apart the One S on, on Inside Gaming Daily, and it is just an... It is an S without a drive. But if they could basically, like, take the main board of the Xbox, fold it in half, then you could have an, you could have an Xbox One S that's probably about this big these days. Um, yeah, just one giant fan if you have that, and then the, the RAM on the bottom with maybe, like, a heat sink and some, uh, some, un, some like, air airflow under and one fan to vent out the back, you'd probably be okay. Or if you use the like vapor cooling, whatever the One X has. 
It would be more expensive than it's worth. But you could probably make a 1X that's about that big. Or, uh, sorry, a 1S. Um, and that'd be cool. That would basically be a 360 Mini. Because of all the backwards compatibility that the Xbox has. Oh, Vivica? You gonna go play some video games? Right on. Have a good night. Game Pass is a thing on PC. Is there any reason to get a Series X if you already have a good PC? Probably not. Uh, Samwise. Probably not. Which is actually a good thing. At least it is for me, because it means it's one less console. I'll, I... I'm gonna buy it anyway, because I'm an asshole. But, uh, it's one less console that most people, like, have to buy. There's also the aspect that it, you know, hooks up to a TV and uses a controller, which most people don't have a good solution for PC, really. Um, for me, the NVIDIA Shield TV does everything, but... Oh! Oh! Neat! Okay. Spear sounds like my jam. If the new Half-Life will eventually come to non-VR users. No. I don't think there's any way to proper... Like, I don't think there's any way to adapt that game to non-VR. And if you did, it'd probably be really boring. You'd have to, like, scrape out all the mechanics that make it interesting at all. I feel like... I could be wrong about this, but without VR, it's just a really kind of boring first-person shooter? I guess it depends, uh... So do I have to bind it? Yes, I do. I guess it depends... Whoa, can you aim that? Oh, no, okay. Puzzles are VR-oriented? Yeah. You'd have to, like... Develop some kind of non-VR interface to grab and manipulate objects. Which you can do, but it would just be boring and weird, I feel like. Yeah, yeah, King Rexus, I kind of agree. Valve don't seem like they're interested in making traditional games anymore. Which makes sense. They can just let, it, let everyone else do that for them. Which they have been for a long time. It's been working out pretty well. Valve needs that VR money. Eh. Valve doesn't need any money. Valve... The nearest way that, that I can make it make sense in my head is that Valve went from caring about the revenue they get from individual games to caring about the revenue they get from entire sections of the industry. So that's where they're playing now. They're, they're playing in Steam territory. They're playing in, like, Dota or Games of Service territory. And when you're in that territory, suddenly, like... Making money from one game that sells really well is just not interesting anymore. But if you uh, own the plat, if you own VR as a platform, and you can make a game that breathes life into that, and then you control all the revenues from that, now that's interesting. But like Half Life Three, what is that going to do? Everyone already has Steam installed. Everyone's already using Steam. It's not going to push anything. Um, but a Half Life that pushes VR, well, no. I still have my own bitter opinion that they probably had somebody else develop 80% of that game. But that's fine. I don't care. We're still getting another Half-Life, and that's good enough for me. Hey, Pork Fried Bryce, good to see ya. Ooh. Ah! Oh, what's the last game that had this? I remember this was in, like, the Game Boy Donkey Kong. That's such a such a unique mechanic that's only been in a handful of games. Alex's Boneworks? It really feels like it, doesn't it? Oh, Echo Ignition, thanks for gifting another sub. Pay it forward! Pay it forward, everybody, pay it forward. You bunch of, you bunch of assholes or not, pay it forward. Um, yeah, I feel like either either straight up Boneworks or another VR company came in and demoed their tech to Valve, and Valve was like, oh my god, they did it. They made a, a shooter work. And then Valve was like, we can make half, we can turn this into Half-Life. And then they like probably collaborated with whatever developer that was to to finish the game or to turn it into more of a full game. It's my own bitter theory, but... <laughs> Prince of Persia is the first game that comes to mind? Like the flipping around the pole and then jumping up? They had something like that, right? Yeah, it's, uh, I, I, gotta give, I gotta give that gag a rest. Somebody's gonna come in and think that it's it's serious. Oh, Echo Ignition did, enough, did it again. Pork Fried Bryce, pay for it or you're, you're an asshole. <laughs> It's weird to think of one of the biggest VR games was made by a guy who was a YouTuber for ages. That can happen. Oh, Echo Ignition, thank you for thank you for gifting another sub. 
Remember artifact? Oof. Oof. I don't wanna. I just, I think about the, uh, the reveal of artifact and the just profound sadness in the room. Man. You, oh, I think about that. I try not to savor it, but sometimes I do. Because I feel like it's that, that moment when you suddenly realize that you're that horrifically out of touch. Ah, Psychoplex, thank you for, uh, gifting a sub. Now you understand the true value of paying it forward. But yes, I got some orbs. Yes, it, it worked, you know, it always works. Oh, Sir Dread, paying it forward. It's working. You want to be rich again? Yes, all, all, all you new subs are not only going to get out. Axe, oh, 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 purple's bad. You, uh, you're not only going to get access to the MediaTek stream, which will be starting in about an hour and a half, but you'll also get my uh, curated insights every week via a Twitch newsletter. Rectum, Rectum, wait, hold on. Rectum Morin? Yeah, this game is ex exceedingly lovely. Scrambled Bacon, thank you for gifting a sub. Aww. The little, little boys have to leave. <laughs> Dr. Eleven, holy shit! Holy shit, man. 25 subs. Holy crap. That's a lot of money, dude. Thank you. Wow. Very much appreciate that. I feel like I gotta start having some overwrought celebra celebratory thing. Aside from the fact that you guys are gonna get... 25 random gifts in a row now. That's pretty good. That... Okay. Dr. Eleven just paid it forward on behalf of a lot of people, so... I can... I can lay off of, uh... Lay off of the social pressure for a minute. Yeah. Dr. Eleven's got the real dad dick of the stream. Ooh. I understand the fear in Valve, but it kind of feels like cowardice to not dare to release a single player narrative game. They have to make it, you know? And that's a lot of hard work. It's not like they're sitting on it and they're just like, No! We're not gonna release it because we're scared. It's more like... Um, the first national bank of pay it forward, yeah. <laughs> the coffers are overloading. Um, I get it. I, yeah, I don't think it's cowardice. It's, it's about profit, but it's also about how you choose to spend your time, right? Um, they could, they could put 200 people on developing a AAA shooter for three years and get one, one booster shot of revenue out of it. And then have to deal with a bunch of nerds who are mad about it because it's not exactly what they wanted. Or they could slaughter themselves to make the best... Yeah, no, Tiny Viking, I I know you know. We both know, right? I'm bitter too. Uh, and this is how I try to, like, justify it in my head is... They can make a game like Counter-Strike or, or maintain a game like Counter-Strike that just keeps cranking out revenue because of the way they operate it. Or they can make Half-Life 3, which they sell for 60 bucks and then it's done. Um... Or those 300 people can, you know, take it easy, play some card games, fiddle around with VR, um, mess around with a new controller. Any of the, like, exploratory things could stand to blow up and be the next Steam and be a next revenue-driving platform as opposed to just a revenue product. Fuck me, Mythic Dragon! You're out dad dick and the dad dick here. That's 40 gift subs. Holy shit! That's... Alright, that's... Reporting on too many, too many forward payments here. Thank you. Yeah, the sub love is intensely real tonight. Thank you so much. Ugh. That's a big nut blast. Mythic Dragon out here with the dragon dick, I'm gonna say. Dr. Dad Dick versus Mythic Dragon Dick. Let the gift wars begin, yeah. Let the games begin. So, yeah, I get it. I feel like once you graduate into a certain tier of, of revenue, there still isn't a hype train. What the hell's going on? There absolutely needs to be one. I'm sorry, guys. I wish I... I wish I knew why that's not happening. They're definitely on. I just stared at that setting. Let me let me look at it again. Enable hype train. What? 
Choose how many support events must occur in a five minute period to kick off a hive train. Support events can, yeah, it's 10 events in five minutes. We definitely cleared that. Is the, did one already happen? Because the cooldown was two hours. So I changed it to one hour. Uh, so maybe that'll work now. Well, 65 count as two? What? Is that how it works? Hype trains are by the number of users gifting, not by the total amounts. Oh no, oh, oh, okay. Then I'll, I'll crank it down to five. Five within five minutes, that seems fair. Does it work retroactively? I, that, yeah, that is kind of bullshit. I didn't know that. Even still, I feel like it should have, should have counted. Hmm. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much for paying it forward. Do bits count? Good question. Let me read here. How many support events must occur within a five minute period to kick off the hype train? Support events can include cheers of at least 100 bits, any tier sub, and any gift sub. But you might already count as a support event, given that you just donated a, a sack of dad dicks. Can gift subs stack? Oh, knock me here. I don't know. Uka basso. Bah. Bah. Well, thank you regardless. Sorry that the Twitch minigame isn't firing properly, but... I appreciate I appreciate the, uh, the generosity intensely. But yeah, as usual, the system is letting us gamers down again. I don't want to say conspiracy, but I smell conspiracy. Crutcher of Cities, thank you for gifting a sub. Who donated a sack of dad dick? Dr. Eleven did. Dr. Eleven with the dad dicks. Mythic Dragon with the, the bad dragon dragon dicks. Ah. Michael, hey, thank you for the gift. Christ, I need an egg sandwich. Are you at, are you at that point of being tipsy where you just want, like, junk food? Oh, sorry. I see you. I see your message. I just... I don't want to get stabbed by the stupid bug. Uh, thought you'd want to see me break down for your entertainment. Chat. Hive-mindedly donate subs and demand Lawrence follow medical advice. What's the medical advice I need to follow? Because I'll do it. I'll do it. Yeah, Kekisono, I, I was lucky enough to get early access to this game, and it is it doesn't disappoint so far. This game is fucking beautiful. Not to mention, um... Like, the music is already different in this new area. All these little, like, little percussion-y doodly-doodly-doodles in the background. Okay, I have a... I'm, hmm. I'm gonna test the theory here. If I double jump... Nope! Okay, I actually have to do it to, to test the theory, though. If I double jump, hit the thing... Ah. Not drinking for 24 hours. That doesn't make sense. I don't understand. Who all from Fun House is in the Predator game? Also, this game looks beautiful. Uh, James, Elise, Adam, and Bruce, I'm pretty sure. I was gonna be in it, but then nobody told me when they were gonna go record, so I didn't submit my samples in time. So that, I don't know. I had plenty of time to do it, but I also, nobody ever told me, like, when the recording session was. And I was so fucking busy that I just didn't record, like, my sample lines, so. I don't know. I was a little bummed that nobody, nobody gave me a heads up about that, but. Ah, well. That's life. Control just crashed. My PS4 sounds like a jet engine. Yeah. It's a shame that you're, uh... It's a shame that you're experiencing the game that way, because boy is that game great. But uh, I had the luxury of playing it on PC. Maybe you're just... Maybe you're sore from all the working out? Did you put my boxes over? You don't have boxes. You just had the two uh, bags by the front door. <laughs> the um the boxes were the like paper towel and toilet paper and stuff. Oh man. Is that a bassoon or an oboe? I can't tell. Whatever it is, I love it. It's so moody. Ooh! A lesbonian tree! Oh, 
that little music trill is super cool. Neat. Huh? Oh, okay, you got him? Uh, haven't really thought about it. I can cook later if you want. Oh. Oh. I got an energy cell fragment! <laughs> Ooh la la. It is. Visually Control is my favorite game I've played until Cyberpunk. Yeah. Do you want me to put this in so that you can Oh, if you want to, sure. I can do that too. Oh. These are the so these are the collector's edition for special like the special collector's edition stuff that they gave. These are the rules. This is why I had some. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Walking them angle. It's been a long grift, Seth, but it finally worked out. Well, there's a. I, I actually, if you if you want a. I do. Geralt. I think I do. Or maybe it can be a giveaway. I am. Oh. One. Look! Look at him. He's so angry. Oh, he's got a little tub. <laughs> Those little feet's poking out? Yeah. That's great. Aww. Wait, is that part of this kit? You can like pop his head off and there's a little tub in there? I think so. I don't know, I haven't opened the box. I, I brought it from work. Ah, uh, you can cast a little fire. Oh, he's so cute. I could, I could probably get you one so you can just go ahead and do a giveaway on your stream if you like. Oh, he's even got a little like poison face. Yeah. I like the tub. Little well, tub Gerald. There he is. There's our guy. He's brooding. He's thinking about things. Fuck. Awesome. Yeah. That's so so we, we definitely have one, but I'm sure that I can get you one that you can be able to do giveaway. That would be great. Thank you. It's it's inventory time. Yeah. Woo! So yeah, Steph, uh there is there is an LA office for CDPR. Um, and I guess they just have a bunch of promo stuff that they've sent to that office that never got given away. So it's just sitting in a room somewhere, and one of Steph's tasks is to take inventory of all the promotional items they have just stacked up there. And I am 100% allowed to take things that I want because I didn't get them. Um, I was still looking to see, I thought that we also had the E3 beams, we never got her. Um, oh, yeah, Because yeah. they were out of them by the time that we, that we got, but... This B is fine as well, but I'm gonna B. keep looking. Okay. <laughs> and I like those are not giveaway items. Those are things that because I work there, I get to I get to have. But we are going to be doing some giveaway with Witcher stuff. Something off in the fridge. I'll try to dig around and figure it out later. It's not that. It's I just don't smell anything. So yeah, it was a little burst it came out. Hmm. No but, big deal. But yeah, I will. I, people will have to keep an eye out because I have many things that I'm going to have to do. I see. Delightful. Um, I'm going to take a quick break, guys. Uh, I'm going to get another get another Friday Seltz. A little seltzer for this boy. Oh, what you're saying is chat can expect some Witcher swag soon. I think... Well, I don't know what to, to what extent. I can't promise on behalf of Steph, but... Uh, you're making toast? Friday toast. We live it up here. Alright, I'll be back in a second, guys. See you soon. Real 
milk chocolate. All right, that's that's boring enough. I can cut it on that one. <laughs> Man, demo scene is the coolest thing. I need to I need to add tons more demo scene to my uh my clip reel. Um, oh, also another thing I'm gonna start experimenting with uh, during Media Tech is cutting in with uh, music. So just whatever music tracks I happen to discover that given week, I'll just cut in with a whole song. Um, either like it seemed like I should have been able to do more up there. Okay. Oh, you can double jump after you hit stuff. Wow. Okay, so this is this is very, very, very. This is approaching a lot of Hollow Knight mechanics, which is kind of interesting. Which makes me hope that at the end of so you can boop and you hit that and you can jump again. Oh my god. There's there have got to be platforming sections that require you to like down hit off a ton of enemies in the road to jump across gaps and stuff. Oh man. I can't wait. I can't wait. I guess I go this way. All right. Uh, there's that. I also wanted to do more with, um... Yeah, Amiga was not very long ago. That's for sure. Um, I'm excited to do more with, uh, like, overlays and stuff. Hmm. What kind of music? Doesn't... Just whatever I'm listening to, really. The, the trick for me will be, like, a proper MC or video DJ to find tracks that complement the current mood of whatever's being shown. So, that will be my... My goal. Oh, interesting. Huh. We play Blasphemous? Yes! That is a... That is a great, if maybe slightly easy, um... 2D Souls-like. But, uh, I really love it for its... Just its art style and its aesthetic. It is, uh... Ridiculously... Beautiful game. With amazing pixel art. Ow. Yeah, Moore's Law is, is... We're gonna have to go into the quantum space, I think, to, to continue pursuing Moore's Law, but... We're hitting some electromagnetic barriers that are just not navigable. Parallelism helped a lot for, I think, the last decade, really. Parallel processing, but, um... That is also hitting a problem. So, it'll be interesting to see what happens. Intel and NVIDIA have done a really good job of, of trying to keep uh, keep pace with Moore's Law, but... I don't know, people have been... I remember even back in like 2008 and 2009, people saying Moore's Law was about to die, and... They they were able to keep pace with it. Layering transistors could help? Yeah, I don't I don't know enough about the physical fabrication of, of circuitry to... To, like, weigh in on, on what could be improved at this point. I just hope things keep getting better and cooler and faster. It is a bummer though, like, I guess throwing back to what I talked about a long time ago with like improving technology and deprecating rates of return. It was really cool, um, playing games and being into computer tech when the advances in technology were so drastic and apparent. Like just moving from 2D graphics to 3D graphics was such a big deal. And then from shitty 3D graphics to decent 3D graphics to good 3D graphics. Those were all such important and monumental milestones. But now we have the tech that can make things like this, so it's pretty cool. Ever thought about playing some Dreams? Yes! Um, pretty soon here, I am going to do a stream where I just fucking load up on edibles and play Dreams all day. <laughs> um, so I'm excited for that. Uh, I lowered the poison water, but I don't quite know where that was. I think there's a point where video games will no longer be able to advance tech-wise. What do you think that would be like? Uh, I mean, I think that's orders of magnitude past where we are right now. Damn it. There's, there's still plenty of imagination and tech to explore. Uh, maybe not in the sense that we traditionally think about it, but I think a lot of what will happen now is... I mean, cloud computing is the easy thing, and stuff like Microsoft Flight Simulator are the most direct ways that cloud computing um, can influence and, and improve gaming experiences. I I expect that cloud cloud computing and like big data, ow, well, ow, yeah, will um, there will be. I know I've ranted about this before on on podcasts and the like, but I expect there will be something like. Uh, using the collective behavior of a bunch of players to curate multiplayer sessions or even single player sessions more to the extent where like an AI will generate a portion 
or in a, and eventually a sizable portion of the content that you play through that is permuted to match your temperament. So, you know, it may be something like either through the behavior that you express or the behavior that Big Data thinks that you like um, based on your purchase histories through Amazon or your Google searches or whatever, the porn that you watch, then they will generate like a Mass Effect alien girl to be a specific way that matches the thing that you um, want or that you stereotypically want of people in your, your gaming class. That's a very direct way to think about it. Um, I think it'll be more like difficulty will, will auto-tune as you play based on big data and cloud computing and AI. Um, level design can shift around. What I, what I see is, and, and to some degree, I kind of hope this will inspire a bit of a, a crisis of confidence in the illusion of, of video games, is that games will just become thorough masturbatory simulators. Um, tech will allow games to be exactly what you want at exactly the time you want them to be. Yeah, exactly, Red One. That, that should both scare and arouse you. That's kind of the idea. Um, oh, I didn't go down here. Right, okay. I, I hope that that will eventually allow people to um, abandon the idea that games are like... What's the word? That games are anything other than purely curated for your fantasy and enjoyment. This, this like, idea that Dark Souls is some kind of... Some kind of, like, existent challenge that wasn't exactly curated just for you to beat and feel good about? I don't know. Um, I'm hoping that that will kind of finally put away people's pride in their gaming habits. Uh, so yeah. I doubt the next step will be quantum. Every professional I've heard talk about quantum computing basically expresses won't replace traditional flowing point operations like CPUs already do. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, sorry, I'm reading this because it's actually cool commentary. Qu uh, quantum will be good for figuring out very intricate com and complex math problems, though. Plus, it's going to absolutely destroy almost all of our data encryption techniques that are used now. Blech. That's true. That's scary. Uh... The idea that you can reduce the complexity of certain encrypting algorithms. But that'll happen eventually. It has to. I see you there. As an aspiring writer, AI kind of freaks me out in that regard. Yeah, it's, it's scary to think that, to some degree, the human experience won't be about creating things. It will be about creating the AI that creates the things. So, Kirby, as a writer, your job probably won't be to write. It'll be to selectively program AI to generate writing for you. I've been thinking a lot about that, um, especially as a content creator, given that AI are making videos for babies to watch and it works. Um, eventually AIs are going to make gameplays that'll be better than what I can do. <laughs> so if I want to be future proof, I have to learn how to make the gameplay playing AI. Uh, and then I can make 18 Let's Players that all have knobs turned to different places on their personality spectrums and play different games and say what people want to hear at the times they want to hear them. Um, yeah. Aren't sure there's still going to be nonsense elitism? Because holy shit, do people like to think they're getting better for any reason? Yeah, or people like to think they're better for any reason. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I'm really curious what that's going to... What, what form that's going to take, though. Because to some degree, you're right. I mean, games will... People will still be elitism, elitist about it, because games will still play into that notion, because people like it. And that's the whole point of video games. Um, or rather, that's the whole point of most video games. To just be a, you know, consumer good that gives people, makes people feel the way they want to feel. I think we should limit what AI can do to a certain extent. Omidesk, I agree. The problem is that that came and went without anyone paying attention. If, uh, if we actually had any sense in our bodies, we would have limited what AI were, would be doing a long time ago. Um, but, and, and I really don't want to turn this into... The rants that I always do, but really Facebook pushed us past that point without asking or telling anybody. Uh, they did it. They did it, and that's where we are. So, unfortunately, we kind of can't go back. Maybe we can, but it would require a ton of regulation, and, and certainly right now, all the money and the power is against that sort of regulation. And we're lazy. Yeah, Omi. Um, as sad as it is, that... And again... Uh, this, again, very Lawrence points, but it reminds me of that conversation in the second Matrix movie, which is like, yeah, we can turn all this stuff off, but then we have to ask, 
do people actually want that? They kind of don't. Uh, they kind of like algorithms showing them the posts they like. They don't like getting confronted with ideas they don't want to hear or tweets from people they don't want to see. Um, they want to be told that what they believe is right. And they don't want to see conflicting information, so... That's already there. They can't figure out how to make an AI that isn't racist. Yeah. Oh, that's just because they keep putting AI on the internet. Is this when I'm going to get the thingy that lets me bounce off stuff? Combat Shrine, eh? Oh. Wow, this... The Hollow Knight... The Hollow Knight references aren't stopping. Ah! music was getting me amped, though. Is this on Steam and Xbox or just Xbox? Uh, I don't know if it's going to be on Steam or not. That's a good question. Sorry, I'm, I'm double-checking. Okay. Just double-checking to make sure I haven't gotten, gotten past the cutoff point for streaming yet. Oh, it'll be on Steam? Okay, awesome. I mean... It'll be on Steam, but it'll also be on Game Pass, so I don't know why you would buy it on Steam when Game Pass is right there, but that's just me. That's just me. So if they had discreet most of our entertainment, wouldn't there be a demand of pieces of entertainment made by people? I mean, only if people can tell the difference, which they probably won't be able to after a while. How much of a demand is there for goods that, you know, are carbon neutral? How much of a demand is there for goods that aren't made by sweatshops in China with baby hands? I, uh, I'd like to believe that, but that requires, like, people to be aware and make conscientious decisions in their everyday life, which they don't. They, they go to their favorite websites and they see a video of some dude farting really loud and they laugh, and that's it. Which is not a bad thing. Not a bad thing. I just think it's important to be... Ooh, okay. That's how they're doing the shard shard economy in this game. Cool. I think there'll ever be a Steam Pass. No. Um, actually, I take it back. Hmm. It's kind of weird. I guess, I guess Valve already has the recurring revenue streams from other things. Artisan goods? Yeah, I guess that's true. Uh, I mean, Etsy. But, I mean, even if you go look at Etsy, it's also kind of a wasteland. Uh, of, uh, of, of capitalist dystopianism, you know? People selling the cheapest, shittiest stuff for outrageous prices of money. That said, yeah. But I would argue, Etsy only exists because there are goods there that Amazon doesn't carry. And if Amazon carried them and cheaper, then that'd be fine. Um, so I guess to that degree, if you extend the analogy, then hopefully you're saying that there are works of art that humans will always be able to create that AI never will. I think I would agree with that too. However, again with a comparison, Amazon still provides the vast majority of, of goods to consumers. And that way I think AI will probably create the vast amount of entertainment products for people. There will still be an underground, you know, underground group of weirdos that still like reading poetry written by humans. Personally, I hope some platforms remain item by item and not a subscription like Game Pass. As a consumer, having an option to individually buy items is good for the consumer. Uh, I agree. I think as long as there's money to be made, that option will always be there. Um, but the second, the second it's not profitable to do it, it's going to go away. Uh, but yeah, why there's no Steam Pass? Mm, I don't know. I get the feeling that that Valve never wanted to bite off that much maintenance. Valve? And again, I'm assuming a lot here. 
just based on how how I see the, the way they architect their products. Valve seem to be huge believers in algorithmic autonomy. That if you just create the rule set and allow people to operate the marketplace themselves, all you do then is take a cut. So you'd basically like start a garden. As long as the garden's growing, you get your crops for free. That's like trading cards. It's like the marketplace. Yeah, most money lease work for sure. So if something like Steam Pass, they would have to hire a whole wing of the company to like constantly go out and talk with publishers and talk with devs, negotiate rates, renegotiate contracts. It's an ongoing thing. And once you start selling um, a subscription pass like that, you have to maintain it forever. <laughs> uh, well, not forever, but you can't just put it down, you know? I guess you could, but that's a PR problem, and it's... I don't know. It's an interesting question. I'm sure, I am certain, that Valve has thought about it. Damn it! This guy's attack pattern is... His attack timing is so wacky. This is what I come to the stream for. Got these opinions and insights. Yeah, I don't know. I, I try not to make that the cornerstone of what I do. I get sometimes I get a little a little antsy when when people talk about opinions as being a valuable thing because everybody's got them. I sometimes I'm lying to myself if I think my opinions are any more valuable than anyone else's. Just words, you know. If you have not already done so, please read Between Two Ages: America's Role in the Technocratic Era. I will. I'm reading, um, if I'm assuming from the title, I'm assuming that... Sorry, I'm, I'm just taking the name down so I remember. It sounds like a book I'd be into. Uh, I feel like we're heading towards a Spotify versus Apple Music versus YouTube future in game streaming, but the option to buy individual games will never go away. You can spend $5 a month and get all these games, or spend $60 on that one you will play. It comes down to whatever's worth more to the consumer. Yeah, Grook, I agree. I feel like, much like, uh... It's, it's gonna be people fighting with each other to um, subsidize the cost of the games enough to own as much user data as possible. I feel like that's really the, the end goal is to, uh, and man, you get so much more in a video game. You get so much more. You get, you get somebody's, basically you get their entire psyche <laughs> when you get somebody's gameplay. Um, you get some of that based on people's scrolling habits, like where they stop, what they read. Uh, you can't scan where people's eyeballs are on a page yet, but, you know, good enough. But you get, like, Facebook data about where people stop, what they click on, the information they use to volunteer. Fill out your favorite bands, fill out your favorite movies. They're watching us play. I think right now they're monitoring like session times and certainly when you're playing multiplayer they're tracking a lot of that stuff too. Um, you know, to to ensure the quality of your, your experience, which is not a lie. Um, but it's also to just make sure that you have a curated experience. But I feel like if it's game streaming, then they get all your inputs down to the second, down to the frame. Um, and I do, I feel pretty powerfully that they can, if they combine all of the input data from every player and use AI to scrape it, they can derive some pretty powerful understandings about player behavior. And once you pair that with, with Google, once you pair that with the user data about like, granted it's supposed to be anonymized, but imagine Google pairing your play data down to the frame for whatever game you play, for however long you play it, Plus whatever's in your Gmail, plus whatever's in your Google search history, plus whatever's in whatever you watch on YouTube, plus whatever, you know. They already have tons of data about you. They already know everything about you. But I feel like that would, that would, that would, that comes to the point of like starting to crack open new, new understandings about the human mind. <laughs> it's, it's kind of exciting, but I also don't want private companies to have like private access to all that data. My mom's a teacher and feels like the focus on data is keeping her from actually teaching. I agree with that. You can get a little lost in it sometimes. I guess I gotta go here? Where do you want me to go? Find Quolock. How do I get over there? I gotta open this statue thing somehow. I gotta go talk to Birdman again, maybe. 
Could you install a keylogger for me if we were moving towards I have no mouth and I must scream and want you to be AM? Are you finished an 8-hour Doom run? Zero Guts? Nice! Uh, was it Ultra Nightmare or just, just Nightmare? I don't know, it's... I feel like... I feel like people's privacy is already completely gone, like way more than they think. And the, uh... I don't know. It happened, and nobody paid attention. Which, you know, it's fine. To some degree, we all get the universe that we deserve. That we we demand. Which is, which is kind of weirds me out, is I don't think most people have a good concept of... Of truly where the situation is. Because it's probably way out in advance of what most people thought. Ooh. What does that do? Just Nightmare? Oh, nice. That thing took me forever in my advanced age. <laughs> Thank you, Scrap of Bacon. Big Brother's always watching. Yeah, a little bit. The thing is, you, you're not going to live a bad life in that system. You're going to get a lot of entertainment for very cheap... And, theoretically... Uh, the system works to everyone's benefit. You're playing a video game and it's going to know exactly when you're going to want a refreshing swig of Mountain Dew. And you're going to want it. That's the problem. It'll be right. It'll be really accurate. Because it is really accurate right now. I just think a lot of people are going to get a little creeped out and maybe a little disturbed. Actually, I take that back. Because the system already knows how to back off when you start to feel freaked out. I know for a fact that, like... Google and Facebook will feed noise into their system to make sure you don't understand just how completely you're understood. Which is actually pretty cool, but also a little scary. So, the system already knows how to protect itself in kind of a kind of a weird way. Yeah, the water drain. That's the last thing. But, I still don't know how to get through this statue. little brother you have to worry about? Data scraping companies without regulations or oversight? Yeah. You, you right. Yeah. Think about that, though. AI-generated porn. I guess, like, just hand, hand the Overwatch SFM models to an AI and let it go wild. Hell yeah. Where do you want me to go? So the water drained, but I need to find something to open the statue so I can get through there onto the checkpoint they want me to go. Hmm. Maybe here? I feel like I've been over there, though. If we're aware of the system and its self-awareness, we can't plead ignorance. Yeah. That's okay, the system already knows if you're going to play to ignorance or not. Or rather, the system's going to let you think you can outsmart it, but you actually can't. That's the, that's the frustrating part, I think. Is you you can't... There, there's going to be no pretending that you're smarter than the systems that understand and govern what you see and hear. Uh, I, I, it's kind of already the case. Yeah, there was another... Oh, it's right here. That's right. So wait a minute. Maybe I didn't... Oh, I didn't see this. Okay. God. I'm stuck here this whole time. I didn't see that one thing. I'm some kind of big dumb idiot. Perfect. I've been beaten and I didn't even know I was playing. Everyone that goes to Facebook and thinks that they have independent political opinions is in that exact spot. Myself included. The stream got depressing. Yeah, sorry, I didn't mean for it to be that way. Again, like, everything's better than it's ever been right now in terms of consumer goods and consumer entertainment. So, 
Again, as long as you as long as you abandon the illusion that you were you had free will, <laughs> then there's no problem. Uh, but that that's gonna be a scary thing to think about. Again, the Matrix. If I quit the Facebook, would I miss the memes? Man, Facebook meme game is so weak though. Um, there are other places to find better memes. I I understand you though. Got hooked on meme compilations. True. Understandable. Oh, look at that sick cash money move. Uh, damn it. Yeah, Facebook is boomer memes, man. This stuff's all outdated. There are probably some there are probably some edgy meme sites on, on Facebook though. Some meme pages. Think about the bright side, we could treat people for the things Wait, we could treat people for the things they are about to get heal the world before it is hurt. I think I see what you're getting at. So that's that's the other thing, is like, you're right. Um, I'm thinking about it on a, such a superficial level about AI predicting what games I like before I play them. Um, which is, is probably the, you know, stupidest way to think about it. Um, yeah, the positive thing is that, you know, you might cough in a certain way, and then based on the way people are coughing around you, um, the environmental aspects of that region, the things that it knows that you've eaten recently, it can be like, you have the flu. It can, like, 99.99% you have the flu. But if you go to the doctor right now and get this one preventative thing, it'll, you won't get it. That's very real. And a very positive effect of technology like that, I think. Let me make sure I'm still not outpacing myself here. So good. Oh, you have to buy the upgrades. Got it. That's a nice voice. Hey, what's up, MCMK? Really digging this fictional language? Yeah, it's really nice, right? It's like, uh... It's not just... Like, a lot of fictional languages tend to be just, like... A jumble of phonetics, but this is... No. We're going... We're going places far danker than this. There are worlds danker than these. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Owned. Speak my language, video game. Huh. Oh. Okay, cool. <laughs> So wait, were those shards? Like, I have to equip them? I do! Interesting! And blend W. <laughs> wee, 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 wee. Oh! We got the pounders, huh? What's up, Buck Futter? It's been a minute, yeah? Welcome. Speaking of fictional languages, you know, a few years back, EA and Max are planning a Sims dictionary? That's not... No. You shouldn't ever actually know what they're saying. That's stupid. What is... Like that one song that Katy Perry sang completely in Simlish, and if you listen to it, you think you're having a stroke? It's great.
Oh yeah, I guess that's where that checkered flag thing is. So there's like foot race mini games. Come into that. Sort of just finished Metro Exodus, feeling a game suggestions. Oh man, Metro Exodus was such a solid. How, what did you think about Metro Exodus? Hmm. Mental health checks enough if you're well. I think I am. And if you're not, ain't no shame in seeking help. I'm going to need. To. No, babe. Nubu is baby. Chumcha is pizza, and Spurk is speak. Damn it, fish! You're ruining. <laughs> You're ruining the mystery. Oh, Pringle Bread! Thank you for the cheer. Pay it forward. That doesn't really count in that situation. Pay it forward, everybody. I'm doing a 24-hour Fortnite stream. Solo. Yeah, I'm still trying to figure out exactly what I want to do with the 24-hour stream. I feel like crowd control, Dark Souls. I feel like that's what I want. Um. Provided people people got the bank bank account for it. Got access to some Xbox, but I couldn't play it. The controls felt fucking janky and clunky. Yeah, I, I don't want to think about playing that game on a controller. That is a PC ass game. I guess they tried their best, but yeah, I guess I'll I guess I'll do the 24 hour crowd control Dark Souls. That sounds fun. That sounds fun. Sounds like people would enjoy that. Sounds like the kind of thing that should be 24 hours long too. Eh. Mummy returns for PS2. Ah, I see. There's a, another man of culture in chat. <laughs> Shit. Uh, I don't think I can. Yeah, that's gonna hurt me. Ow. All right. What if you beat it before 24 hours? Is that... is that possible? I guess if I knew exactly what I was doing, maybe. What do you want from me here, game? What are we doing? This feels like... Can I just... no? Is this what I'm supposed to do? I'm gonna say that's what I'm supposed to do. Just listen to the song and now I wanna listen to Katy Perry songs? It gets in you, doesn't it? We're about to play Google Global Corp. I don't know, I don't remember what it's called. Yeah, Miyazadong. I'm I'm curious to see more Ghost of Tsushima too. That is very definitely a PS4 title, right? Alright. Hold on, I've got an idea. How are you enjoying this game so far? I'm really, really liking it. There's a lot of, um... There's a lot of, uh, Hollow Knight influences that I'm really, really vibing. Wait, wasn't there... Eh? Eh? Oh, oh, it, no, that's not how it works. Yeah, it's this. I'm doing it! Comes out mid-year-ish? Okay. Bruce G was completely bamboozled by Simlish Katy Perry. It's, uh, it's... I feel like... I feel like... <laughs> everyone, everyone gets... Gets their mind turned around by that song once. Oh. We got pressure plates, boys. Oh, play no HUD? So RGB was the only indication for me? Yeah, if you play... man. Metro Exodus in Ranger mode is awesome. I don't know how I did that, but I did. Oh! Oh! Oh, this is kind of a cool puzzle. Okay, hold on. Ah, 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 ah. 
Oh wait, 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 wait. Can I hit it twice really quick, maybe? Oh, okay. It just goes. Great. I think Bioshock are the best FPS and storytelling games ever. Just wanted to share. I think I would agree. Um, I feel like the like some of the other kind of Ken Levine-esque games, Thief 2, System Shock 2, Half-Life 2, namely anything that has a 2 on it. Hmm. Deus Ex for sure, you know. But I, some of the beats in Bioshock probably haven't been rivaled. There's some, there's some big-ass moments in that game. <sighs> this game is so pretty. The music is so good. These, like, mischievous strings. Oh. Sounds like I'm getting up to a mystery in Harry Potter or something. What are your thoughts on living in an ecumenopolis? City planet? I don't know. I'm basically doing that now. I live in LA. God damn it. Ah! Might as well be, man. Ow. Ah! I don't know, I, I think what's more likely is that certain certain visions of natural beauty will only exist in like VR and entertainment products. Because it may as well be the case now. I guess I can still go to Yosemite. Eh. Oh, but yeah, oh, okay. Looking at LA and Google Earth is nuts, one of the giant metropolitan areas. Yeah, it's like that, London, Tokyo. Hong Kong. I'm gonna play Half-Life Alex? Yes! At least... I will eventually. I'm gonna be one of the assholes, like, chain refreshing the page on Monday trying to get an index. I should've just bought it when I had the money. I held off because I, I don't know. I don't know why. I felt bad spending that much money, but... Paying the price for my, uh, my hesitance. But yeah, if, if I can if I can get a kit, um, I'll certainly be streaming that on day one. Very excited for that. <laughs> Man, hold on, I just want to listen to this music for a while. Yeah, that motion blur was a little intense. The, the frame hitching kind of really made it much more obvious. Oh, yeah, uh, Chaka-san, the Fun Hub shirt, I have the, uh, here, I, actually, I think I've used it in the gym, so it's in my, actually, wait, hold on a second, let me give you guys chair, chair cam for a second, but yes, I, I know exactly what you mean, hold on. But, here, actually, hold on. Yeah, you got chair cam for a second. That's the state of my of my Fun Hub shirt. That's, uh, yeah, there's not a lot of, not a lot of vibrancy left in the old girl. But, uh, yeah, it, it's very confusing. Um, Rooster Teeth merch, man. Sometimes it's, like, awesome. Sometimes it, it falls apart like cardboard. And I, I was never able to tell which which batch I was gonna get. It's frustrating because like some of the designs would be really really good but come from a horrible supplier. Some of the designs would be like ones that I wasn't the most most happy with but they'd be like incredible quality and I just could not... I'm sure that they changed manufacturers multiple times but I don't I don't know anything about it. Yeah it comes down to which factory Chinese factory made it. 
Yeah, that was never, never our business. The merch department always, always handled their shit extremely well. 420 viewers plays it. Nice. Watch Twitch every day. I'm so into these strings. Uh, imagine someday people will see you in that shirt and say, "Oh, you're a fan too." Oh, nobody's gonna see me in that shirt. Like I said, that's what I wear to work out in. So, if somebody's stalking me while I work out, maybe. And in which case, they'll say, "Oh, you're a fan," and they'll be like, "Ah!" All that. Ah! I'll deploy my kung fu on them and knock them out cold. That's what I'll do. So. Hmm. I'm supposed to find Qualuck. Didn't expect that to just be a loop. Really? There's nothing... Yeah, I guess not. Oh, down here maybe? Exactly, you know. Give him a little bit of the razzle-dazzle. Oop. Damn it! I like the subtle merch that has in-game references for the diehards that otherwise looks normal. I always like that too. Also, yeah, like, like the gentleman was saying, that shirt, that shirt can protect your virginity more than Pokemon or Yu-Gi-Oh or any of that shit. <laughs> but yeah, it's a pretty good workout shirt. A lot of a lot of Rooster Teeth merch is in the workout shirt pile now. <laughs> Gonna get my BMI to normal levels before I start lifting? Why wait? Lift now, my dude. That's what I'm doing. I mean, I guess I can't give you that advice before it really works for me, but... Um, especially if you haven't... Alright. If you haven't already been lifting, then you might as well start now, just so you can build up a kind of a, a base layer of strength. Um, and to start build up your technique. Because uh, weightlifting has a technique, something you have to get good at. Also, like at this point, again, I'm not the person to give advice because I'm still I'm still working on it. But the difference the difference between cutting down BMI is just like two to three hundred calories a day. I feel like that's not going to be enough to to significantly impact your workouts. At least it hasn't been for me. You just got to track your calories pretty religiously. Make sure you're coming in at a slight calorie deficit every day. You can still lift on that. But there's also something to be said for one thing at a time, you know? Oh, there's a new boy. What's that? I see you up there. Look at you. Oh, you flicking your little ear thing? He's got little, little gravity hands. Give intermittent fasting a try? Yeah, people have had great success with that. Doing plant-based whole foods, lost 30 pounds already? Ooh, congratulations. Yes, that was a very cute individual. Highly cute individual, eh. Ah. Ah, yeah, yeah. I can go up there. I feel like I would have to bounce off the falling man to get up there. So working through all that tequila, found a new one I like. Coronita, Corona, Corona Rita in the bottle. Oh my god! Wait, my pre-mixed Corona. It sounds like malt liquor. I'm talking about lifting and working out, and I'm here <laughs> eating Girl Scout cookies. No, I mean, shit, dude. I'm talking about it, but I'm I'm drinking a Bud Light seltzer, so I'm not necessarily in a better place than you. Although I'm probably taking in fewer calories, if I'm being honest. Oh, this is one of the pressure plate doors. Man, the, the like, smoky trail these guys leave behind is really cool looking. It's rare to have a visual effect in a game like this that is really cool and, and uh, adds a lot of visual flair, but doesn't obscure where the enemies are and add a lot of visual confusion.
Repulsive Goat. Thank you for the resub. Miss the, you missed the Lawrence vibes? Well, they're back. They're back! Never left. But they're back. What is... What? what are you telling me to do here? Huh. Oh, Compton! Thank you so much for the cheer, man! You have the best chill out and drink bourbon weekend streams? Yes! That's the goal. That's a, that's honestly what I ah, ow. what I strive to create, so it's really good to hear. Oh, we got a glowy butt. Oh, damn, okay. I fasted and literally had six beers. I'm a contradiction. <laughs> hey, that's just opening up calories, so you can have the beer. I kind of miss beer. Ah. Fuck. Jesus. Aaron Porter, thank you for the gifts, man. Oh, ah. how's it going, dude? Incredibly generous of you. Yeah, very good way to get wasted. Hey, crap. Ah, no. Oh. Oh, he turns around so fast. Oh, okay, that's what you got to do. Got it. Have to wait? Wait. Oh, he t okay, he tuckers himself out. Got it. This is the first Ori? No, this is the second Ori. Nutbuster 69,000. And yeah, Pick, um, relatively new sub badges. I think it's been a minute since you've been in chat, but I've had this for about a week now. E Compton, thank you so much for the, uh, thank you so much for the resub. My fiance is a GM at Chipotle. They discounted. They discontinued serving margaritas, so she got to bring home a bunch of tequila, Corona. Take a swig, then pour in tequila, triple sec, lime, sprinkle salt around, and ground chipotle. Ooh. Okay. I guess, yeah. I, I didn't think about it, but yeah, they did try that for a minute. Well, cool. Hey, what a, what a nice little perk, huh? You enjoying some, some chipotle ritas on the weekend? Having to rage quit fighting a clock in that control game? I'm gonna eat grilled cheese and be done with this mess. I think I'm visit, uh... The GE on a better hardware system. Yeah, Dante. Yeah. I, uh, I feel bad for you, man. Or I feel for you, I should say. There's... I have had the intense blessing and luxury of not having to try to play a game at really low spec or bad performance for quite a long time. But that was basically everything... That was me on PC, nonstop. Until I was like... 25? Oh, cool! Yes, dash! Absolutely want to dash. Yeah! So when you need to become a League of Legends pro gamer? Nah, that's done. We're all about- Oh! Shit. We're all about Valorant now. I am, uh, I'm gonna be a Valorant pro gamer. Cool. Ow. Cool. Yes. Ugh. I am so into these platforming mechanics now. Yeah, I, I am 36. It's true. Is this game worth getting the original Xbox One? This, this game by itself? I mean, maybe if you can get an, if you can, if you're like a friend selling one for like 50 bucks, maybe, but. I mean, I, I, I don't know, I don't know. I like this game a lot, but I don't know that it's worth buying a, a console for. Now you're stoked for Valorant, so you have something you can play with friends. Eh. I'm not. I was never a big Counter-Strike guy. I'm much more of an arena shooter kind of dude. Which means that my game will be diabolical. You're older than me, finally? I think I was always older than you. I don't think that's a finally sort of situation. No! No! Ow! Damn it! How did I mess that up? Oh, finally a streamer older than me, gotcha. 
Yeah, not, not, not that common of a breed, are we? You boys got to be young. Your scalp has to ma be able to take. <laughs> Your scalp has to be able to take all that hair dye. <laughs> Min versus game is like 50. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess he's one of the older guys. Northern Lion? Probably up there? Damn it. That's the thing about streamers. I get older, they see the same age. Ugh. You're kind of right, though. I have Xbox One, but I mean the very first one. Can play this game at its max? Yeah, I think so. I would say so. Grab it! Damn it! Damn it, Ori! You're dicking me over here. I want that badly. Oh, River Hippie, thank you for thank you for paying it forward. Pay it forward, everybody. Pay it forward. We're gifting subs tonight. Cause uh, we're gonna be starting Media Tech pretty soon here. About 20 minutes. Don't you want everyone to hang out and watch random clips together? Don't you want that? Boomers only play Pac-Man! It's true. All of it. There we go. That's got it. Oh, that's cool. He did a little, did a little swing around. Hmm. Honored Samurai. I'm really happy for for Bruce too. Ah, oh, Sir Dread. Thank you. Yeah. No, it's uh, Bruce. Bruce has done a lot more for a lot of people than I think anyone will ever properly get to know about. So, I'm really happy that he's been able to uh, to find a good spot where he can just play games and hang out with people and kind of enjoy the, the fruits of his own success. Ecompton, thank you for paying it forward. Five gift subs. Appreciate that very much. Pay it forward, everybody. You got a sub, you got to pay it forward. Or you're a bad person. There, I said it. It's true, though. It's true. Okay, you can make them run into walls. You gotta work for it? What do you want me to do? Tell me what to do and I'll do it. Yeah, cash. Send me cash. Stuff cash in an envelope and mail it to me. Did you know Bruce during the G4 days? No. I was a software developer in the DFW Metroplex in the G4... No. Yeah. In the G4 days. I was I was in college in the G4 days. Um, did you get that earlier or did it come out already? I got it early. It's coming out next week. So. Nikki, the beers are hitting too hard. Hey, whatever, it's Friday. Uh, it sounds like you're in the right right frame of mind for a uh, media tech, though. Ow. Uh, let me tell you, weird weird clips hit pretty hard when you're in a funky state of mind. I can attend. I can attest. Unfortunately, I didn't have any time this week to add new stuff, but God damn it, there's like there's over forty hours of stuff in there. All right, I'm getting I'm I'm getting distracted. Get distracted siphoning all this money out of Twitch chat. Pay it forward, everybody. I'm already in bed. I'm as safe as I could be. You could be drinking water, though. Oh. Ah. Free release. Pretty high as fuck for media tech. I think I'm going to as well. Yes. I think I will. Why not? It's Friday. Fuck it. Huh? This music is really nice. Yeah. Yeah. Uh... Uh, Dil, Dil Rav. I saw that on, I saw that on Twitter, actually. That, uh, Ray and Tina got married. That's so nice! That's so nice! Ah, oh, it makes my heart so full. They're such a, they're such a good couple. Ugh. Makes me so happy. Rah! I demand the Sizzler Buffet advert again. <laughs> oh, God. That hit at the end. Sizzler! Hey, man. If the fates will it, it will, it will happen. I can't, I can't control it. Actually, I guess I actually can, but I, I choose not to. Uh, you play games on the hardest difficulty by default, or just some of the times? Ah, oh, Pick, it's funny you bring that up. So, I had a crisis of conscience when I started this game, because I, I do intend to produce a uh, YouTube review on it. Kind of like I did for the for Outriders. Um, same, same sort of deal. Um, and I think, if I'm playing on my... If I'm playing for fun, if I'm playing on my own, I... If I'm playing on my own, I typically play on the hardest difficulty I can. But if, if I'm playing a game for review, I feel like I should play it on normal because that's the experience most people will have and I should speak to that experience. As opposed to maybe subjecting myself to a more frustrating experience or, or interacting with the game mechanics in a way that most people wouldn't. 
I feel like that's probably not the best way. Or rather, chat, I think, convinced me that that's not the best way to really experience the game. So, when I'm reviewing it, play it in normal. When I'm playing it myself, play it on hard. Is a good is a good thing to uh, good policy to adopt. I would love to. I would never been to Sizzler. Tell us your stories. It's a, uh, it's not as bad as people make it out to be. Sizzler's actually a, a decent restaurant. Uh, or at least I've enjoyed the meals that I've had there. I wouldn't say it's like the finest steak you'll ever eat, but it's pretty good and it's pretty well priced too. They got a salad bar. It's not bad. They got a nacho bar, dog. And I've been to far worse buffets in my life too, so... When is the 100k point option getting added? Whenever I just carve out a couple of hours to, to edit some some bumpers, that's it. I just gotta make the videos. Uh, I, I have the technical know-how, it's just... And I have in my mind what I want. It's I know what this process is because I've done it a million times before. Now it's just like... It's going around YouTube and like stock footage sites and finding all the assets and... Just making a like dumb two second thing. I bet it would take like two to three hours max. I just gotta, you know, probably not even that long. Maybe like one hour, but I just gotta do it. Uh, every time that I, ow. All the time that I could be doing that, I just stream instead. It's kind of what I've been, how I've been spending my time, so. Yeah, I just gotta make it. That's it. That's all that's holding me back. I'm in 92k? Okay. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> Wait, the store's closed. Uh, that wasn't supposed to happen. Mm. Supposed to go above? Oh, there's a, there's a bubble up there. No, oh, I. Damn it! Alright. I can get this. No, oh, fuck off, bugs! Damn it! Oh! This is the best. This is the best. I found the perfect way to play Xbox games. Damn it! There we go. Attack more rapidly with Spirit Arc. What is Spirit Arc? Oh, it's the... Oh, it's the, the bow and arrow. Okay. This seems like a really... Really fundamental upgrade. I think I like... Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Lesbium acquired. Ah, ooh. Wrong button. Now, LGBTQ rights are preserved a little bit more. Good job, Ori! Lesbians the world over. Sing your praises. Ow. You don't think we'll ever hit a time in console games where there's no loading screens on AAA games? Yeah. Yes. Very, very soon. Within a year and a half, actually. Console's the only reason there's loading screens in games. Uh-oh. That's not good. Okay. Consoles and, like, PCs that still have physical hard drives, but... Uh... I... Mm, I take that back. I think games will have, like, dynamic loading screens, where if you... If you... If, you moving through the game world outpace the game's ability to stream in data. It'll the game will just like freeze and it'll just say loading at the bottom. But I don't think we'll see loading screens anymore. Um, I think that's gonna gonna fade away pretty quickly. I mean, a lot of games now hide loading behind something that isn't a loading screen. So it'll, it's just gonna be more like that. The uh. The Gears of War, two fingers to the ear hallways. Those were loading screens. Yeah, exactly, T-Rex. Yeah. The... 
If the new standard is that everything is on a uh, solid state, then then finally game developers will be able to actually create content that can depend on that kind of uh, data stream. There we go. Ha! Okay, I'm gonna get to this well over here. I think that's where we're gonna call the stream. Uh, I will. I'll throw it to my ending clips. That'll be a little, a little sampler, a little sizzler sampler for you guys. If you're not subbed, uh, I'll let that go for like 10 to 15 minutes, and then we'll go into media tech, where I will uh, bring the stream down, and it'll come back as sub only. So get your subs in now. Gift your subs now, now, so that uh, people, everyone can enjoy sizzler. But thank you guys for watching. Thank you so much for all the generosity. Um, there is, honestly, there's been so, so many gifts tonight that uh, I shouldn't be asking for more, but I am. Pay it forward. <laughs> Give me money. Uh, oh, no, don't thank me for the stream. Thank you for watching. Oh, dear. Uh, I'm going to go cook, cook some dinner. Oh, yes, and also there's the newsletter going out every Sunday. E. Compton, thanks for gif gifting five more subs. That's a man who knows how to pay it forward. Uh, but thank you guys. Hope you guys have a great weekend. I'll be streaming tomorrow. Let's see. What is, what is tomorrow? I think... I got a, I got a cash money... Oh yeah! God of War! Yes! Yes! More God of War on Give Me God of War tomorrow. And then also a, uh, a sellout stream. I got a sellout, a sellout game to play. I actually like it though. Actually, it's right here. Um, I've been playing it a lot. A lot more than I probably should be. Bless Unleashed. Yes. Uh, it is a free-to-play action MMO. From the glorious land of, uh, it's not Raid, not, not yet. Uh, Dr. Eleven, thanks for gifting another sub. You've already gifted so much, man. Thank you. Um, I actually, I actually like the game, but I, you guys are going to call me a shill for liking it. I'm sorry, Una. I, I'm sorry, I missed your, I missed your story about why it, uh, why did, why did Bless, uh, destroy your, your hopes and dreams? <laughs> I don't know. Hermes, or Hermes, thank you for the, uh, Prime sub. I'm not chilling yet. That's actually me just talking. I'm not getting paid to say that. I've actually been playing it a lot. Um, and I can prove it, actually. I got the Chivos to prove it. Uh, hold on a second. I don't know why I'm doing this now. This is stupid. Uh, I could I could have more achievements, though. Jack Henry, thank you for gifting subs and paying it forward. Yeah, I got all these achievements I got. 50 side quests. That's a lot. So, whatever. Um, <laughs> can't chill unless it's raid. I already did that. So... Uh, anyway, thank you guys for thank you guys for uh, thank you guys for watching. See you guys tomorrow. I'm excited. It's God of War Day, and also Get Paid Day. Bless Unleashed, and uh, see you next time. So ha hopefully you have a good good Friday, and hopefully you stick around. Watch all these weird clips I'm about to show you. But thank you guys. Have a good weekend. Bye everyone. So bye.